Let Lenny finish his meal. We know how much the maniacs love the chewing into the mic. There he goes. You're not chewing, you're not eating, you're not eating, you're not growing. <laughs> so here we go, yeah. episode 56. So speaking of Alex, We welcome back Rob Zillow <laughs> on the podcast. Can you believe it? Welcome back. You never yeah. left. Exactly. <laughs> So the original plan for tonight was to have on Chef Brian, who, if any longtime maniacs will remember, Jason did a couple of great training videos with Chef Brian. He was a former co-worker of mine from like 2007 to 2011, and um, we did some videos with Jason, but we called an audible tonight. We, we postponed Chef Brian for another night because we all felt it was important to kind of put to rest some of the misinformation that's been going on with us lately um brad's dms blew up today my dms blew up today what's going on with you guys are you guys butt hurt what do you think of the new channel with rob and <laughs> listen w w this has all been discussed among us after the last two podcasts that we did we sat down and we discussed it like adults we all we are all on board and 100 percent supportive and i'm just gonna pass it off to you rob to talk about what you're doing with lenny so we can try to get you as many subs for your uh, new, new... Explain it, please. Explain to the maniacs. First, first of all, if you're going to get a fat Samoan on the podcast, make it at least be Rikishi or Umaga. <laughs> <laughs> well, is Brian a Samoan? No. Oh. <laughs> well, speaking of elephants, Dale Chance, let's get to the elephant in the room. And I talked to Leonard this weekend, and he said that I wasn't... Uh, he said at least two weeks I was supposed to be off the podcast. So having to hear from somebody else kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Lenny, who and told you that? It wasn't me and it wasn't well, Brad. Who told you that? I got that from, you know, Brad coming over. I told, I never said to he make was. make his collection from me. I never said I was, he was banned. I just said two weeks because last week we weren't doing one. And this week we we're going to have Chef Brian on. Honestly, since we don't have a fifth microphone. Correct. That was what I told you. I never told you that Rob was fucking banned. Well, as you communists never it. heard of sharing, you as a communist believe in share and share alike, don't you? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Sharing the well? You can't share a microphone? We probably could, but, That's we, where I but, got we have, but when we have more than four people, it's fucking hectic. But we had more than four and people I figured, last time. We had the Christians. Obviously, I didn't hear from the yeah, horses. Yeah, but it didn't... The elephant's mouth, so to speak, in this case, in this episode, Andrew. I didn't hear it from his mouth, so I would guess that would definitely be my error. It and I don't, don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, that's what, on that's why we're all here right now to put put all of our chips in the middle of the table, get on the same page, and just put all this shit behind us once and for all. Because the last thing we want is people on all these different boards or whatever spreading misinformation, rumors, gossip. This one's backstabbing that one. This one is against <clears throat> that venture going on. Just we're, we're gonna just talk about it right now and get it out of the way, and then we're gonna have some fun on the podcast. Well, well, uh, <laughs> fuck, I lost my five years of Adderall. That's okay, no, dude. I'll pick it up. So you two, listen. Everyone knows by now. I lost interest in filming a long time ago. I haven't been to the gym to lift a single weight in four months. Neither Brad or myself have any interest in filming fucked up shit, porn, tranny shit. If you guys want to do some crazy shit, we have been 100% supportive. We talked about this after podcast. Any help you need from either of us, we are totally on board. I hope you guys take it to the moon and back. Do some crazy shit. Get buck wild. Gym videos. Wherever the <laughs> hell you guys go. Whatever you guys do, just don't get arrested and provide everybody with the crazy Lenny content people want to see. Take it to that next level. That's all I can say. Well, yeah. Well, what I was going to say was either way, what he said, she said, doesn't matter. What I was going to say is it made me think, you know, at the end of the day... Delray Misfits, this is Andrew's brand, and if, say, Andrew didn't want me around, whether or not you did or not, I would have no say in that. So it made me think, all right, I'm already sucked into this shit one way or another. I want to keep it going. And as a maniac myself, I know that, you know, Leonard's going to the gym every day, and it's just a difference of having a camera on him or not. He loves it, and people want to see that shit, so... I can kind of make up for some of my fuck ups in the in the maniac universe by being the one to bring that to them and take a step back. And uh, I know I'm just a fucking goofball jackass unless I'm drinking. I'm I'm entertaining. And I'll let <laughs> Leonard be the star of the show. And uh, just don't open that next to the mic. For <laughs> <laughs> fuck's sake, man. Why are you getting angry, anxious to eat some? <laughs> one yeah, one yeah, of these weeks. Angry. Just ask me for these help. These are macadamias. I did ask you for help, Brad. No, you did not. Many things, <laughs> many personal things, too. Have you came through? Not really. Well, I'm not 
participating in, in tranny shit. Well, I, yeah, but, yeah. Is that a Freudian slip? I didn't say that. That's what was on well, your mind. What, because that's what you always ask. No, 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 that's on your mind. It, what, what? Jesus, that was for Brad. you. That was for Why'd you. Why'd you have to lift your ass in my direction? That's what I want to know. It comes out no, better. No, this is, this, isn't, this is me just taking the torch. You know, just grabbing. The but torch. we talked about it after the last two podcasts. Yeah, right, there's right, no, right. There's no misunderstanding. No, no there right. wasn't a misunderstanding about that at all. No, no. You said you wanted well, to continue to film, and right. we're all about. He, he, go ahead. Here's here's one of the misunderstandings. At least if I'm reading the tea correctly, that Rob came down here to break up the Delray Misfits. And listen, we're not the Beatles. We're not a crime family. We're not a cartel. We're not cookie cutters, we're, which those groups mentioned on. We're, we're long time. <laughs> we're, we're, we're long time friends who do shit on YouTube and have a podcast. And you guys take it to that next level. You know, you have our support. Yeah, that's the opposite of, of what I'm trying to do is break up. I'm trying to keep shit going. You know, yeah, and that's fine. That's we right. said we were all fine with it. Right. You know that. So what people is the, are gonna hate no matter what, you know. Uh, you know, you do a video and then they're still gonna complain oh, about welcome it. Welcome to everything. the Genovaverse, yeah, yeah, where right, you're right. damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Right, if you sure. do X, you should have done Y. If right. you do Y, I've been hearing that for ten years. Yeah. There's I, not enough content. Wait, what do you guys think about Rob right. filming Lenny? Should he really do that? Hey, shut the fuck up. I've heard that for years with the filming of Jason. If, if you know, I won't get into it. But Lenny's 49 years old. Right. He's a fucking adult. I'm 18 forever. Okay. <laughs> what? Nobody has, you know. And the way I see it, we're all free agents. Not, right. There's yeah, no fucking sure, 100. percent There's no doubt about it that he has star power and he can be like somebody like Beetlejuice can get famous through Howard Stern, get on movies and shit. Leonard can take it to that level. And I want to see him get to that level, and the maniacs want to see him get to that level. You're referring to Chuck Basher's Beetlejuice, correct? Chuck, yeah, the the bastard child from Chuck Basher's porn videos. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the YouTube channel that you created? It's just called Big Lenny. Um, I wanted it to be called the Big Lenny Show, but have you considered it giving it? Like a different, less of a cookie cutter kind of a name. We got to try to come up with something. There's I nothing think, cookie cutter about more, Big Lenny. I, no, but the name, I'd say a little more Whoa. of a catchy name. I'm just saying, just in a, just a thought. I wanted to be called the Big Lenny Show. Okay. And when I announced that, a maniac started a channel called that. Like an in a way that we oh, no shit. Yeah. Because I, I looked up the Big yeah. Lenny Show, but it, it did my my live, right? Yeah, and yeah. it didn't show anything else. And I'm like, how the fuck? But somebody linked me to the video through Instagram, and I could on get my, it through there. My bio, yeah. Yeah, and I could get it through there. Yeah, yeah, but then when you, if you just go straight to YouTube and type it in, it doesn't no, come, all this so other content. shit comes up. Yeah, I think that's why you say you might want to change the name. Yeah. Overshadows the person or the group. That's cookie cutter. What right, do you want it to be called? The name is fine. The name doesn't really matter as long as he's in the... Quick name. Say somebody, you know, celebrating the birthdays. doesn't matter. It's the content of the person. Just like those who want special rights and recognition for their sexual preference, color, country of origin, you name it. Religious beliefs. We're concerned that what the person is and the message they come across and what they do and what they produce to f your fellow humans because we're not here by ourselves. None of us would be anywhere without each other. And that's something I've learned the past couple of you guys and many others, maniacs and other people. Thanks, Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very cookie cutter response. <laughs> I'll take it. Nicely said. It's all right, good. I mean, this it'll be a good thing. And you're able to film whenever, wherever. Yeah. Good. Your well, the other kids, too. yeah, he's filming, you know, but... Uh, okay, how about the taco ladies' residence? <laughs> whenever, wherever, I'm holding you to that. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. We'll see. Stay tuned, man. Hey, Rob's a little better. Brad's actually making good progress. I understand he performed his first <laughs> devil's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and those of you that don't know what that is, which Brad told me that idea. Licking that chocolate starfish. How was it, Brad? <laughs> I see you're here in one piece. There's not a white film on your tongue. It's actually excellent. She's got such a beautiful <laughs> ass I couldn't resist, especially once <laughs> I, I got some of your stash. That was... That was it. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Brad. You were right, Leonard. I got to tell you. Right. That's what did it. I, was, I, I got to that subspace. Yeah, you craved it. But Brad's going to be doing live streams at Walmart next. <laughs> <laughs> or Club Atomic. I'll be, in yeah. the I'll be in the cart while Lenny pushes it around. <laughs> yeah. You know what they say, Brad? Crab ass with you've licked one ass, you've licked them all. That includes there's no difference between a man, a woman, <laughs> okay. no, a you're lady, stupid. or an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> 
when did you get into Lenny Stashdale? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, see, Lenny was willing to share that just just because he knew that it would put me in that place. Yeah. That, that brings me back to a theory. I think Dale may have induced birth by the PGCL <laughs> peptide, which induces birth in large animals, specifically elephants. Let me see your mic for a second. Oh, there's fucking food all over it. Jesus Christ. Well, good. At least there's not... Hold on from here. Okay. At least there's not new cord Yeah, don't hold the cord, right? the cords, you know. Yeah. Loose. See, when I suck off trannies, I'm used to holding it from the, the bottom, you know what I mean? So I get the full depth into my mouth and the choking <laughs> effect. So I'm not used to holding it that close, so forgive me. You're forgiven. You're a sick fuck. And you're well on your way to overshadowing me, Brad. You already turned the first I step. I can promise you I will never suck dick. He went over the edge. Oh. Like the Tootsie Pop, how many, how many licks... To get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, how many scoops of G until you suck a tranny stick? <laughs> <laughs> That's good for a live one day, Maniacs. We're going to make it happen. Place your bets. Not happening. So why But no, we... it's, it's not that big of a deal. What was her reaction? Loved it. In what yeah, way? Could yeah. you demonstrate the moans and the groans? And... She asked me to marry her after. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did she really? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try that with the white cows. No. Normally, you think after she cook you some of those tacos. That too. Jeez. Yeah, she's a keeper. Yeah. So now you're not eating her other taco now, aren't you? Just <laughs> oh, sure. I love that too. Wow. Be careful of the supposed <laughs> cross contamination. That's <laughs> no, what's I good know. about it's front to back. That's what's good about doing a tan, tan, tan. You can suck the cock in the ass without cross contamination. Yeah, okay, there. there you go. That's what's good about it. So, have you done it since, or just so? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So now it's very good. What the tan, tan, tan? I didn't hear about that. Good stuff. He, he did. Look at him. He's got guilty eyes, like a guilty puppy dog. Yeah, tan, 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 Slayer. That's just my, my. I'm not that deranged as you. You've been a faggot. You've been a faggot since you were born. Yeah, you're born like that, really. Yeah, you are. You, you are. You know it. We, it's okay. Here we go it's again, okay. Brad. It's all right. You're not born like that. It's perversion, thanks to porn. You're porned like that. Yeah. We don't watch porn Speaking anymore. Speaking of porn, what were you saying about London, England before we started the podcast? We were talking. There's some porn, some porn ban, some some shit. You, July 15th, they're banning porn unless... Let me get this. But before before I mention that, my, my question I, I was thinking about, I know he probably talked about it before, but you said Cal Calora used to be into the trannies too, right? Well, I can't speak on his behalf. You'd have All to be right. able to get him a call in. All right. Sorry, Catman. <laughs> I learned my lesson from falsely speaking on Andrew... Well, that was false. Prince Andrew's behalf. No, but Kalora talked about it when he was on the podcast. <laughs> yes, I thought. Yeah. He did. Well, yeah. he did. He mentioned, he said that he put you in that, that you know, uh, yeah, subspace, okay. whatever. UK porn website ban starts on July 15th. Here's the, how the new proof of age laws work. Pornhub and YouPorn have developed verifications and called Age ID. you got to be 18 or up to watch porn. Yeah, good luck. How are they going to verify that? I don't know. I, that's just a chunk. What of is the root cause of that? And there may be something very horrific behind the scenes that they, we need to know about that I sort of suspect. I don't think I want to know. What do you think it is? Gore, torture, porn, possibly. You've seen some of that? Yes. Not the, not the stuff that I've read about that's on the deep web, no. As far as somebody's in a... You haven't gotten down Somebody's in a garage or a basement. They're tied up. And people are paying Bitcoin to have them sexually tortured, raped. And we're talking about... Oh, those webcam. That webcam. We're talking shit. about old ladies babies toddlers real human filth is that why jay masters keeps inboxing me how to buy bitcoins <laughs> <laughs> hey he's got a lot of free time on his hands yeah, yeah. enough time to talk shit behind my back <laughs> yeah, but what, what about you you said you said you wanted to knock him out all of a sudden yeah well, i mentioned on what was that question at the video something about you when, when you're gonna when you want to fight somebody you want to get that first why crack why in. not why now all of a sudden is this coming again well it was a question to me and i said within 10 I years i thought this was so i thought all that shit was resolved nothing's resolved well now within you want now you want to now you want to say it when he's in a fucking wheelchair no that's what he wants me to, to think people I'm, he wants people to think that's what i'm saying if you could hear i know the song wasn't good but i said in 10 years when his fat ass heals up 10 years yeah you both will be fucking dead before 10 years. <laughs> Brad, I wouldn't say that. People that said I'm dead are dead. No. Ah. I can count them on two hands. That's not a very smart thing to say. Why? Because people have died. The way you guys abuse that. fucking steroids, there's no way you should be living oh, right now. Oh, listen to this fucking idiot. <laughs> Did you ever see a bigger, faster, stronger? 
The deaths from steroids are worse than deaths from water or fucking vitamin C. There's more deaths from vitamin C. Yeah, but than you that. abuse them. What's abuse? What's abuse? Define Wait, abuse. Your mic is not working right. I don't know what's going on. Because he keeps holding the fucking cord. Try again, Lenny. Talk. He's rubbing the tip. No, try talking into it. Not breathe. Okay. Talk. Yeah, better. Okay, good. I got it. Good? Yeah. I bet half of the shit that you put in your body doesn't even, like, react. It doesn't even... It's just... You probably just flush it straight out. Same with that dope you smoke. Because, because you, you were... You were... You were bigger when you were just... Remember when you took that little break and you were just cruising on test? You were bigger than you are now. Last you year. Bigger. You were bigger. <laughs> Bro, you don't have an eye for a physique. There's many factors yeah, you right, look I at. Know. Water retention, intracellular fat, which I have still have little to any. Okay. Lenny. I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope you guys do live a long time. Brad, trust me, most of the time you are wrong, but then you've come That's to good. learn. That's how you learn. <laughs> what do you think of the NFL banning the Oklahoma drill? Did you read about that? No, I didn't. Yeah, they it doesn't did. surprise me. Like I said, nothing surprised me anymore, but... Uh. Yeah, okay. they banned it and all that. They training. wanted us to ask you that, too. I, somebody messaged yep. me about that, too. Well, so. NFL is very soon for me to be... Never heard of it. Yeah, it's uh, progressively has gotten worse. I don't see people need to wake up, and hopefully Vince McMahon's legal. It's gonna, know, that's not going to go. Right. We'll see. I hope it does. There's too much because people. Shit. It's, it's, NFL is cookie cutter. People are addicted to tradition. Let's say, let's face it. Tradition ended maybe 10, 15 years ago. It's just not the same. What do you when mean by tradition? Players staying with teams. I mean, everyone's out for the money, but these these guys were offered a couple million off to what amounts to almost twenty million dollars salary and refusing to accept it. Not going to mandatory team workouts, showing that I don't give a fuck about anybody but myself. I mean, this is a team sport, and you see these guys, these clowns that left the Steelers. Let's see how good this is. I think I'm really mainly interested in this year is seeing those two jackasses perform. And believe me, the numbers are going down. Oh, Le'Veon and the Jets, yeah. Yeah, I went on and then and then uh... they're on where non saying names for like that basketball player. That lion basketball player pervert. <laughs> Who's that? Stop. I'm not hold, saying hold, his fucking hold, name. Hold it here. No, he's all right now. I fixed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you want to swing it and give uh, Rob Zill the Dutch hammer on his forehead? You ever do that, Leonard? You've probably had it done to you. Yeah. Or it's the Russian, I know the Russian hammer. Whatever. Why do you know all these terms and I don't? <laughs> Urban Dictionary. You, you no, more like you go in urban high. urban areas and, and bathrooms <laughs> when you're delivering mail, acting like you're going on a break. Uh, How many times have you been sucked off in a me in a bathroom, <laughs> in a gas station, in a park, How many times in somebody's been? residence, or come on to by homosexuals? <laughs> How many times in that long storied career of you? Of no yours? idea. Well, this must have been a lot. Did you see the USPS is going to be introducing self-driving trucks? Uh, good luck with that. Agreed about that? Yeah. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> that just just goes how sorry these postmen are. <laughs> Self-driving. I'd rather have a self-driving truck than Brad behind the wheel. <laughs> well, the truck. There's going to be some, there's going to be somebody behind the wheel to deliver the mail. There's going to be self. They find, like I said, they're going to find a way with self-delivering mail. You probably. It's right. not going to be hard. Underground little shoots and stuff. That's not going to be hard. It's going to be a work, you know, that's probably what you'll be doing. What do you mean? Like breaking up concrete? Digging trenches. Yeah. Put, like laying down cable. Yeah. Thing. What they need to do is bury the fucking power lines first so we don't keep losing power every time we have a fucking 30 mile an hour wind. Yeah. There's no reason for power lines to be well, above well, ground. Well, it's from for profit because every time they go down, you got to get to buy the lines. You got to pay for the labor. And they say the economy's booming because of that. Well, a lot of the new communities bury the power lines yeah, now. If they and then the they money. don't fucking end up losing power. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see. This will be our first summer down here. So if we get a tropical storm or hurricane... Go to Brad's place. He, his power never goes out for long. <laughs> That's what I did two years ago. I don't blame you. I spent the night at his place. It fucking yeah. sucks. It I was doing a yeah. pre-contest Ruby deal. Right, right. With no refrigerator. How's that? That's no right. open that was, gym. Which that was hurricane a month, was that? That was a month before. That was when I looked my worst. But I still did it, Mr. Chance. Well, are you going to do Don't talk to me about motivation. <laughs> are you going to do the You're up there at Chance of State at a climate control and everything, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to do the Ruby or not now? What's your... No. Okay. You want to do the one up by him. At the end of October... I want to make said, myself a 300-pound in-shape freak. That's been the goal from day one. If that is what my mindset needs to be, 300 pounds... No more than 5% body fat. And I'm going to get it tested every way possible. 300 pounds and 5% body fat. I'm not going to make it. So why do it? And that gets back to me. Mr. Cocky not e not Jockey up there in North Carolina working for uh, the Chance Firm. <laughs> what, what are you, 168 pounds? 
why don't you just be man's man's bikini? You're not showing anything, and as people want to see freaks. Samurai Jack. Who, I do. Who's he talking about now? Samurai Jack. The Asian guy that deals Oh, like, oh, okay. That's Clearly right. Nobody trash. knows who he is. Why? If you were a freak, they'd know who you were, son. Take advice from me. <laughs> not Mr. Yeah. Trophy Collector up there. Go suck black dick. Yeah. You'll be a legend. Dale, I, like I said, I had a, somebody, <laughs> and maybe actually didn't know this. I don't know if it's true or not. I like Dale to call in. Supposedly one of your That's employees, one That's of your... True clients is a head, is one of the judges on that panel and i didn't know that but you, you he, can call in and next time whatever even tonight wait, 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 I'm, I'm gonna well this isn't live so right. but you can text him now well, actually he's texting you now dale i want to hear the i want to respond to these allegations i want to hear it in your words watch watch then he'll talk about himself having abs <laughs> and shit that you can't really <laughs> <Right>. see <laughs> right. he did the a funny move. thing hey. is i could have won that show <laughs> <laughs> the only one that worries him is Kalora. That's it. Yeah, but I got the better legs. He 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 invited us up there. He said he'd have a place for us to stay too. I tell oh, you yeah. what, that's a reason for me to go. But then again, that's one of Dale's tricks. He knew damn well if I was to stay at that woman's house, I would chain myself to a wall <laughs> and not even do the ruby. Chain myself naked. Use my posing oil everywhere and inside everywhere. In that lady's basement or out in her backyard. <laughs> that lady. Yeah. Well, I won't mention any names. That blonde. <laughs> now Rob's eyes lit up. The, yep. the former Mrs. Parkin. Right. We got one of the, the blondes, with, the blonde with the dead brother that I talked about. We got her in one of the videos yesterday. Oh, yeah. She didn't talk. She just, you know. She smiled at me because she knew I was eyeing her up. Before he even told me, like, that's a dick sucking <laughs> slut. If I ever saw it. Yeah. And Rob said, that's the one. I thought, oh, shit. She looked like an ass to mouth chick. She looked like an. No, that's a different one. Ass to yes. <laughs> yes, she did. So you're on speaking terms with her again? No. But she, she gave me the death stare. Oh, so she just yeah, ran she into you guys at yeah, the gym? Yeah, it told the like, cameraman to sneak her, on, sneak her in, the, in the footage. Oh, yeah. But she's at the gym? Did. Yeah. She goes to LA Del Rey. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm curious to, to see what she looks like. And let them run wild. <laughs> yeah. She looks like a. Yeah. <laughs> DM me. I might change my mind by then. You tell one person and that's it. Ask Robzilla if he's one of those douchebag GNC guys that tries to sell GNC products. Actually, Big Mike from House Nutrition texted me yesterday because I actually send everybody over there. So you could go fuck yourself with your little douchebag questions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still at GNC? Yeah, my last day is tomorrow, and then from then on, uh, yeah, yeah, my, let's just say You know what last day. day is? We're all placing our orders with you today. <laughs> well, from, oh, yeah, right. I remember Andrew Kalora's last day at GNC, but it'll remain nameless unless he, he wants to come on and speak about it. It'll remain nameless? Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah, you won't tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we may already have. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I might stay there part time so I can still get the discount. So your boss, your, yeah, your boss, Freudian slip. Your boss was very happy about the calls he was getting, huh? I saw that note you sent me—the picture of that, the note he left for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, you don't. All right. That was fucking funny. Why not? Please do, Rob. Please. All right. Yeah, you, you assholes were calling, but the boss telling him I'm a cokehead, this and that, and I walk into work one day and there's a narcotics. Anonymous flyer on the fucking <laughs> 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 great. And I'm talking to him, and I'm like, "Yeah, man, so I'm taking CBD now to chill me out because my mind is too fast." He's like, "Oh, so you could never be the type to do cocaine then?" I'm like, uh, he's trying yeah, to get it out. Yeah, of yeah, yeah right. <laughs> if you do blow, you'll be up for days. Yeah, right. Well, if I need an eight ball, I'll just steal some of your shit, sell it, and buy one. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Maniacs, hit me up if you want some black. Stone Labs products. No, 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 they don't sell them there. If they did, that would be great. All right, Lenny, you want a question? Mm -hmm. This is from Mark. He sent me this through Facebook. Andrew, I was wondering if you'd ask the advice of the guys, so everyone feel free to chime in. I'm 43 and I'm struggling with recovery. Based on the advice of Lenny, I went to buy research liquids, but I am not sure what you get. I've never taken anything before. I'm interested in taking test only. Can you get a recommendation? And then I, I asked him what did he mean by recovery. I wasn't sure what he meant. So um, 
He said, a year ago, I got sick of being a fat ass. I started lifting five days a week. Believe it or not, I was watching YouTube one day and stumbled on the video of Lenny talking about making excuses. That day, I started this journey, and he sent me a couple of before and after pictures, and it's a pretty remarkable transformation. My problem now is I've hit a wall. I'll work a muscle group, and it takes on, and it takes an extensive amount of time to recover. I had my T checked, and it's normal for men in my age group, but that's bullshit. I want to train harder and longer with the eventual goal of being 700 pounds ripped. That's from Mark. Mark, I can tell you right away, BioResearch Liquids is the top of the line if you want proper dosing, safety, sourcing, all that that's been in business for years. I hear the extent that my employer goes to finding these and keeping these sources, which are research purposes only. It's excellent shit, too. I'll vouch for that. Yes, yeah, but too. the one thing I would mean you buy immediately, and you can tell them Big Lenny sent you or whatever, MK677. Excellent. That is a liquid oral growth hormone releaser that has tons of documented data on YouTube, enhanced athlete Tony Huge, many, many, many others. That will increase your appetite, increase your natural production of growth hormone from your own pituitary gland, and it causes an increase. It can help you sleep better. I do it personally at night before I sleep, get you in a deep REM stage sleep and it helps with your appetite as well. Oh, when I was on, when I was taking that, I could eat the fucking walls. I was hungry all fucking Which is day. good provided oh, you're eating the right ratio of right. protein, carbs and fats. That and test, of course, when a doctor tells you. Again, here we go, doctor. <laughs> it's normal. No, it's not. <clears throat> For building muscle, you can't be in the normal range. You've got to be Let's say I don't go by blood levels, but I go by what are you injecting? Most likely a medium lasting ester like an enanthate or cypionate at 400 milligrams a week minimum, anywhere upward to 600. That to me is a good dose to build muscle on and not reach into the raising your blood pressure, those type of effects. So those two, for everybody that's not doing it right away, and I guarantee you, you'll be healthier, stronger, and have a reason to wake up in the morning. And a reason to jerk off in the morning. Trust me, Mark. Who's your morning jerk material again? <coughs> it's usually in my mind now. I'm, uh, after being a porn addict. She's got the spank bank. Monique something? Yeah, yeah. She's always on the cards. When I make my trip up there, I'll go in and make sure. Tamika? Check her out. <laughs> yeah, but that the one thing about that stuff, because people have ordered it and they say, oh, it, it doesn't taste. It's not, not going to taste good. It well, does not taste good. It's raw. And it lingers for a few minutes, but, you know. Good, sh good shit doesn't always taste, doesn't taste well. I mean, yeah, you, why are you going to add flavoring to it? Just right, give right. me the fucking, uh, you know. When I don't want sugar in my cocaine. I want it to taste <laughs> like Exactly. <laughs> Quit cutting that shit. <laughs> right. When I'm sucking off a tan, 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 oh. I don't care what that load <laughs> tastes. I just want an off of it. And enough protein. And he goes and she's got a nice, sexy face and a big set of tits I can look at while I'm doing it. And she's smacking me in the face and talking in a kind of sexy. <laughs> I got a good one. Put man. your face in it, bitch. Yeah. Very sexy. Yep. Yeah, deeper voice yeah. than you. Fuck. Um, this guy says, if I found a cheap garage type building in Boca and a cheap, decent equipment on Craigslist, would y'all be willing to accept a GoFundMe to start your own gym? We have to see it first. I mean, it could be some fun in the trailer park. They still have trailer parks in Boca, believe it or not. <laughs> about the size of a fucking yeah. bathroom. Well, he's talking about like an industrial area. Yeah. Where he's they talking about mechanics cheap and shit. shit. He wasn't specific again. <laughs> yeah. Specific, sir. We need to take a look at it and just be a little more specific. If Yeah. All if right. it's like a Boca house I got a nice cheap place. gym too where I live you want to train there yeah. I don't think so I actually want to train there tomorrow with you if you want do a video there you gotta get the girl you gotta get the gal she this one this one doesn't want to do the first time on camera we need a hood booger <laughs> <laughs> all right I'll call her up but you, you said you had right? you said you had a couple of them lined I up. had one. Tinker, but Tinkerbell right Yes, I'd have to find her. I think I lost her number, but... Why don't you program any fucking names into your phone so you know? Yeah, that's going to look great when people look at my phone history. Tinkerbell, the Who's goddess. looking at your phone history? I guess is my Is mommy still checking your shit? <laughs> I don't know. Your mom doesn't even know you yeah. have that phone. What the fuck are you scared of? No, it's not that. It's just... It's cause, oh, I, I don't know if I want that. She's going through texts. I don't want to know that. It's all numbers. There's I don't no like the idea of hood boogers he's showing up. Our, he's got our numbers memorized, so he knows when we pop up. But These hood boogers need to understand. I call them and get them at their, my convenience, not theirs. They can't show up thinking I want to do shit. I don't care if it's free or not. 
if I'm fucking sleeping or eating, I don't want to do shit, you know? Yeah, no kidding. When I was younger, yeah, you drop that. Well, I, you know, I'm 18 forever, but you guys don't know. It's just I've been doing it for years. Unless you can provide something really fantastic, you know, like you're going to fist me or something. That's fantastic to you. Yeah, and she's small enough to do it. Good fuck. Well, I'm sure Rob, Rob would mind that footage. I think she could do it. You were squirming like a fuck when that fat little Cuban was putting her fingers in your ass. So you think you could take a fisting? I know. Come on. You could do it. Your asshole will be bleeding for days. Wow, Brad, you talk from... I just want to oh, here we have go. somebody call and say, how, how does it feel? Brad just gave you the specifics, which he normally doesn't do. Your ass is bleeding for days. I can imagine. <laughs> no, Brad. That would be my guess. No, Brad. <laughs> you were specific, and that's unlike you. Yeah. The last time you fisted me, I bled for did a week straight. Did she get it all the way up to the elbow? You did. You know who I think you're a little like Jay said, you got fourteen inch arms. Who do you think you are? Fucking Muhammad Ali, you're gonna knock him out? Even if I had fourteen inch arms, I could knock him out. By the way, I watched that on HBO, the Muhammad Ali, the two part. It's worth watching. It was good. What are your thoughts on Muhammad after this? More respect or less? Because I know you had a picture of him in your bathroom as a shrine. I have a signed picture of him. A signed? I (laughs) think they fucked up with him. If you watch it at the end, he shouldn't have his last five fights, you could tell he was suffering from that. He was it, it was pretty bad. They don't care. They want the know. fucking money. Now they would never have sanctioned him. He was sl- he was slow. It, man, it was fucked up. But you can listen to any number of retired boxers. Riddick Bo, they all they all punch trunk. Well, he had Parkins. It's different. But well, Muhammad Ali had a hundred and fucking like sixty amateur fights before he went to the Olympics. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they. Were using and then his last few years, he was just playing the rope a dope shit. So the other guy would get tired, and then he would win. So he was taking beatings. Mm. It's interesting, though. It's worth watching. Well, his ass you, would, been, you would like it. His ass could have been shredded to pieces over in Vietnam, so he had to consider himself lucky. Mm-hmm. That was a poor example for the youth. of. If he would have signed up, he would have went over there. They wouldn't have had him in yeah, combat. You're right. They would have taken care of him. You're right. It's worth watching, though. You were telling me about an interview I had to see today. You are all amped up about the Palumbo fucking oh. Dorian Yates interview. It came to my attention. Dave Palumbo interviewed Dorian. Dorian was on his couch. He looked like he's a little stoned, but they were talking about truth in the news. And I, first, I didn't. I was listening to. They didn't really get controversial until about a quarter of the way in. But there was comments. You and Big Lenny need to be on a podcast. You and Big Lenny need to go to Ayahuasca. Take have Brad to Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Yeah. So let's do it. Dorian said the same things I did. He went over to and Columbo said. Columbo said, "What's so controversial?" He says, "Because talking about the Holocaust." He said, "There's." Because that wasn't true. How it was reported. It was taught in the schools. It was taught to him. And Dave's like, how do you know this? And this and that. He goes, well, I looked at facts online. Number one, look up the David Irving speeches. And for what got it for me personally, when you can deny any historical fact, no one's going to say, you can deny the existence of Jesus, which I've heard people do, yet there is historical evidence of him being alive on the earth. But he denied the Holocaust. And David Irving was jailed. You can get jailed in many countries, including Canada. And even Al Jazeera caved in. I heard that there, someone that denied the Holocaust, they refused to report on it. And that's Al Jazeera. That's a Muslim Arab-based news outlet. So a lot of brainwashing. But Dorian, you know, he's a man that speaks his mind. He did was a bodybuilder. He says, because that never happened. He says, like I said, there was internment camps for Jews, Italians, the United States during World War II. Problem was, over there, a lot of those supply lines for food, whatever, were bombed by the Allies, by us. By England, by Russia, they couldn't get the, the supplies in. Therefore, there was mass starvation, which caused a typhus outbreak. You know, people say everyone was burnt in a chimney and the smoke came through the roof. No, that wasn't true. Every facility like that had a crematorium, and that's where you put the dead bodies. You know, you may burn dead bodies, you know, because because diseases would break out because of that when people were confined into spaces like that. So. And Dorian even said, is if you look at history in Auschwitz, a so-called death camp, because if people were using swimming pools, they were celebrating bar mitzvahs there, birthday parties. You know, they were actually treated probably better than we did the uh, Japanese. Where did he find all this information? Online, look it up. And of course, Dave said, you know, not everything online is true. He says, yeah, but when you research it, when you see these historians, and he said, there's a lot of Jewish historians. That, that is the biggest hoax perpetrated on the news to this day. And I still heard something about somebody about reparations, financial. And Dave Palumbo, it's funny, watch it, maniac. The look on his face, because he's part Jewish. He said that he had, he goes, oh, I could talk to my relative. And the first thing, and Dorian basically shook his head saying, now let's change the topic, whatever. Because Dave asked him, Dorian didn't come out and say it. Dave specifically asked him his views on this. He heard some, mm-hmm. again, rumors. So 
during, you know, what I would immediately, I thought, well, bring, bring your relatives on if they're there. Well, how are they there? If there was a Holocaust, that means everybody was dead. That's what the word means. How do you survive that? Makes no sense. It's like saying, I survived a raging inferno in a building that burnt the building, but I survived. Like, what are you talking about? Everybody jumping on the bandwagon? <laughs> I guarantee you, if these people came on, you, they had legitimate, which will never happen, people asking them questions. Where were you? What unit? Do you remember anything? It'll be I don't think there's anybody very I don't think there's anybody alive from that. Well, that clear, apparently is. There's people still getting reparations for it. Apparently, it's a sti what, still Holocaust a thing. Holocaust survivors? Yeah. Oh, there's sure. There's a lot of them that still to be. Absolutely. A lot of them that have tattooed numbers. Right, they have number tattoos. I've that seen it. When I was younger, I saw that. That doesn't prove authenticity. Anybody could do that. Isn't Saul a Holocaust survivor? Saul? No. Yeah, he's dead, isn't he? No. They keep saying he is. <laughs> R.I.P. Saul. But the point is, <laughs> it's not about that in particular. It's about what you're being taught. And I want to get back to Arnold Schwarzenegger getting drop kicked. Oh, uh, yeah. What about that? They're asking about that, too. First of all, the security was pitiful. That should have never happened. He could have came in with a knife. That's true. And just, and I'm sure if there were metal detectors and stuff, he could have done something lethal. Uh, who is a big Mandela supporter for publicity? Arnold. I remember you going over there saying he's one of your heroes. For what? Well, you look online at the, at the truth about... Now, type in, I want the truth about Nelson Mandela. <laughs> and the best thing for him, in my opinion... <laughs> From what I've heard, what he, he did, it's radicalization. He should have been hanging from a rope before he was ever put in a prison. He is just doodled. He's a devil. He's a demon. He's a race baiter. He's a coward. He's a communist. And whatever he did after prison, it was just all smoke and mirrors. That's what you get, Arnold. And you know what? I'll give you, I'll give you credit for one thing. You could have came out and said it was racial because this human being that did this, not only did it for publicity... He did it because he was taught by Mandela and the African National Congress that he was affiliated with that taught to hate the white man, the rich, successful white man, or the worst of the worst, and I'm going to take me one out. And Arnold had enough class not to take him out. He drop kicked him. Well, you could take him out. He barely moved him. Well, that's why he did it. Well, you know. If you want to take him out, like you said, he could have ran up with a fucking knife. Well, you know, I guess, oh yeah, that's what you get for lifting your life, a long life. You got good balance and stability. Yeah, but he's people standing there that, that held him up. I mean, if there was nobody in front of him, he probably would have fell. What was he screaming afterwards? I want a right? Lamborghini? I mean, wasn't there people like, didn't he fall into people? Yeah. How the fuck? Of course he's not going to fall. We want to be like P.J. Braun. <laughs> Should have brought, kicked P.J. Braun in one of those expos. He's the one with the Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> but Arnold, is, first of all, Arnold, you need to press charges on that because now you're going to have a whole... People are going to say, well, Arnold ideas. didn't do it. I'm going to yeah. do it. Let's and, see who can knock down Arnold. Arnold, you're letting that type of nonsense go in society where you can come up and insult somebody like that? Show some more self-respect. You know, who do you think you are? The Pope. You know, you're not the Pope. But that's what you get, Arnold. Rub elbows with them. See how much they respect you after all that. You're on their side. Yeah, perfect example, Arnold. Fucking moron meathead. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, a big Muhammad Ali friend and supporter. What the hell would I be that porch monkey's friend for? Jesus Christ. That kind of makes me ill looking at him running his mouth like that. He wasn't running his mouth at Alzado too much when Alzado cracked him upside the head. You know what? They did not show that in the document. They didn't show that. Of course not. Alzado took it to him. And more importantly was a fucking guy that's just a football player took it to him. A guy that just did a little few amateur fights took it to him. A white guy was mocking him. If you look at the end of the fight, Alzado's mocking him. The big flabby Ali. Look at that physique on him. Looks like a porch monkey pot smoker from the fucking hood. Uh, As we get back, Anna McLeodia, one of the best videos, edge or educational videos. The Russian roulette foot shooting in oh good old Fort Lauderdale. Did you see that? Of Fort course. Did you see that? Florida. What happened? That's these a must Haitian, see. These Haitian kids playing. Can't believe you didn't see that. Go ahead. Talk, you can talk about it. Go ahead. Showed Fort Lauderdale's New, Year Universal, New, Year, New Universal Order video. It's on his Instagram? Yes, but you know. I think it was on Barstool Sport. It was on all kinds of so, Instagram pages. This is a bunch of black youth, you know, with the cookie cutter hair clothes and such. With their cars up. in a circle. And for the guy's flipping the barrel. For $400. Russian roulette. Yeah, 400 bucks. Flipping the barrel. Shoots one guy in the foot. The guy wraps up his bloody foot. You can tell he's in severe pain. He ends up getting shot again. He looks like he's about to pass out. Okay. I tell you what, the foot has so many bones in it. I don't know whether to replicate that myself, 
out of stupidity or courage. Or they're probably high on perks and weed. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one of the most insanely stupid things to do. Yeah, well, it went viral, so I'm sure they're pretty happy. Oh, you expect it to. 400 bucks? Would you do it, Rob? Hell no. <laughs> well, for a little bit more money, I'll consider Rob, the, the pain is already lying. Oh, my God. Jesus. All those bones and the... You know how I many? 26 bones, I believe, in the feet. Holy shit. And that's, that's going right through them. It's barst. Oh, okay. It's probably way back. How long ago was it posted? When did Adam post it? A couple days ago. All right, let me go to New York. Thanks, Adam, by the way, who's superior to Winston Churchill. I've here. done some research on Churchill, too. <laughs> Adam should be sitting here on a throne, Andrew. <laughs> He's moving to Boca. He's welcome anytime. Where the fuck is it? Anyway, anything you'd like to add, Rob? Yeah, yeah. Some? I want to talk about the, the phone call with Jason before. Please we, do. Yeah, he Did called because I got the new account going. And he's like, listen, bro, you, I'm going to help you build your channel up and get followers, but here's the deal. And I'm like, dude, we don't need a deal. You know, Lenny's popular. Lenny's going to get big. And he's like, I know how to do this shit. I know how to work YouTube, but here's the deal. I'm gonna help you guys out. I just need the password to the account, and you can send the footage to me. I'll edit it, and for you post it on his account. Yeah, yeah, and for exchange that you guys can like pay me monthly. Great. <laughs> sure. And I said, well, I said, what did you ever give Leonard for helping you with your channel out and being in your videos? He said, you know, stuff along the years, like bodybuilding advice. He shakes and it shows. Yeah. It gives gifts here and there. Hammer curls works all your triceps. <laughs> There's your bodybuilding advice. Hey, hey, man. Sick. He, he fuck. <laughs> you know, I saw that president video last night. The president where he wants to run for president. No, not, I, I think that, that shit was yet. funny. I was actually it? like that. Was yeah. It? All right. Yeah, that's just funny. That's a good concept. I think he should run with that. He's yeah. president of the Leather Helmets Club. <laughs> <laughs> or like Jason is the window licker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could pay him to do speeches. Hey, on Jay, you months. know that from experience? Is that a Freudian slip? Are you speaking from experience? I could see you in a Michigan outfit as a kid with that nice leather helmet looking like thinking you're Gerald Ford. <laughs> licking that window. Licking that tainted window. <laughs> oh, I'm a real Michigan Wolverine. Look at me. I'm Gerald Ford, the president. <laughs> Uh, you know, he's going to get very upset with you now, Leonard. He's a publicity sponge. <laughs> sponge day in <and> queer pants. <laughs> oh, Lenny, what do you think about the new abortion laws? Hicks and Thomas. Personally, I used to be pro-choice, but the things I'm starting to hear about late-term abortion is very scary. Fuck you. It's not about late-term abortion. It's about human life. And... It's about time. You agree with that shit? Yes. Do you really? Absolutely. Give me a fuck. Because everything even else... Even in cases of rape and incest? Come on. Why not? What do you mean, why not? No, that wasn't incest involved in that. That's Is part that of the law proven? that including rape and incest, they still cannot get an abortion. Well, I think... That's fucking horrible. It makes a case for Let all those genetic... fucking nose-picking redneck inbreeds up there for fuck themselves. All the women should you move the what? fuck out of that those state. Those inbreeds are on a higher plane fuck of you. life than most of the cookie cutters in this country. It's there. It's... I can guarantee you that. It's about time someone stood up for life. And if he, some people think it's his stream, it's been a long time coming. It's too far to the left. It's been way too far with this. That's the real Holocaust. I'm going to talk about a Holocaust. If it's that far to the left, how did that, how did that law come when in? When you're aborting people that never had a chance to live, do they have a choice in it? No. Everybody wants to take advantage of the, the small woman, the small man, the crippled man. Watch out, Jay. The oh, mentally Jesus. ill, uh, the defenseless baby. You could see the stories, use them as bad as throwing them up against the wall for entertainment to sexually assault well that's the most vulnerable human existence is the fertilized embryo and it's well, about that time just goes to show you people it. some people should not have children like the ones that let their kids get thrown around the fucking no house. no no people should treat their children like a human life and that yeah, goes but not from, all of them do that goes from self -made. why why did we get to the specific cause, Brad? Specifics. Okay, tell me. Start uh, educating people <laughs> in the right way to be a human being, which everybody's afraid to do. Don't tell me how to live. Well, these people have the audacity who's getting supported by our tax dollars 
to not want to be drug tested on welfare, to be able to do what they want and us pay for it, to be able to have. So let them have 10 fucking kids, right? No, I didn't say that. You have that rule, but guess what? You have guess what that rule gives the loophole for, and that's the real reasoning behind it, and I guarantee you, everyone will know this within a year. Sterilization. Because if you open up that floodgate, here comes sterilization behind the back door. These people will get sterilized. Inbred. Inbreds. The it should be. The, well, the sterilization's coming, and thank God for it. And I said, God, brat. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, then. Because that's the person you'll definitely be on your knees to at some point in time. For what? Licking God's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, put it this way. When you're kneeling before him, and you go, oh, big money was right. And I, and no, I'm not the one that started it. But believe me, you'll, that's all you'll want to do. Guys. The doctor performing it, they said we get 99 years. The who? The doctor that performs the abortion. The doctor. Oh, here if we he go. Get, doctor if he gets struck. <laughs> and at that point, Never he mind, stepped in and said it's wrong. Who gives a fuck? It's figures in the Bible belt that fucking. The doctor that. The stupid redneck fucking That does state. what? The doctor that lets a. a that break? aborts the baby. We'll, we'll get 99 years. OBGYNs who are performing services for women. It, Absolutely. Thrown in a cage for the rest of their life. Absolutely. You're okay with that? Yes, it's a long time coming. Uh, Boy, you have one. You know, OBGYNs don't just perform abo abortion. Did I say they do? Is that a Freudian slip? No. <laughs> what if that? What if? Hold on a second. What if that same OBGYN is also an amazing uh, at treating ovarian cancer? How, what if that same OBGYN has saved hundreds or thousands of lives by treating Ted ovarian Bundy. cancer, and they perform one little abortion in jail for the rest of their life? That's a great point. That's horseshit. Yes, not a doctor. That stuck his fingers up a teenage gymnast's ass. He's getting life. And this is infanticide. This is murder. Murder, premeditated murder for profit. Wow. They should get the electric chair. No lethal injection here. No fentanyl. Oh. I want to go out with fentanyl. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> Doesn't everybody. <laughs> or the case, the injection drugs. Oh, we don't have enough su supply of them or whatever. Yeah. Bring back the chair. Put those doctors on a chair. So that's what, what do you think about that, doctor? What about the woman? And you can go in there and protest and be at their side and give them moral support, too. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Pro-choice. Oh, quit using the cookie cutter. Did you invent that word? Did I invent it? Some Did fat... you invent any word that's coming out of your fucking stupid mouth? No. Exactly. So shut the fuck up. You know up. who did? Intelligent. European Christians. Every word that with you said backbone. you're regurgitating, you fucking With moron. a backbone. Yeah, I regurgitate stuff. This, this, Damn right. This, this, I regurgitate. Oh I like God. to regurgitate here, the intensity of Dorian Yates. Sick, twisted yes, fuck. winners. Not cookie cutters. Yes, you, you're going to have. I, you, if a woman the, wants to have an abortion, she should be I able to. I copy myself off Jesus and what he did when he lived. Do you think he existed, Brad? Yes. Good. Because I was going to throw charges on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do not. I'm a Holocaust denier. You get thrown in jail. Of all the historic, you could go say you denied the Boston Tea Party. They're not going to throw you in jail. Why in the hell, if it wasn't a racket, would you get thrown in jail for saying that? That's the only thing. That should say right there what a racket it is. Sick of hearing about it. Shows and documentaries and that fucking <laughs> Steven Spielberg and wipe his ass. Those little shit movies. They sucked. <laughs> that was a crock of shit, that Schindler's List. Was it? Yes, it was. A crock of shit. <laughs> In what way? Schindler saved it. He didn't save anybody because they didn't die from them. They died from typhus and starvation. If you're living in an isolated forest and the rail lines are blown up, I mean, they're bombing people. There's troops out there. How are you going to get your food? They have been getting water shipped in. You're not going to live three days without water. So what do you do with a bunch of dead bodies? You're going to let them sit there to sort it out? No, you're going to burn them in the crematorium to prevent disease. And that's what was being done. Okay. That's a fact. Look up David Irving. Talk to Dorian about it. Dorian said it. He had balls to say it. You could get, you know, horrible financial repercussions for saying that. But he said it. Not like Arnold, who said Dr. Simon Wiesenthal was was his, one of his mentors and idols, the famous Nazi hunter, yeah, going down and picking out retired old workers in their 70s and 80s and taking them to a tribunal and have them hung somewhere over hearsay. They were working at this camp, taking old grannies out of their freaking nursing homes to do that. Real hero. 
Okay. <laughs> never again. Never again. They yeah. said, well, I don't want to hear about that Holocaust hoax ever again. How's that? With your movies and such. Now that's all the questions are going to end up being after yeah, this one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll direct some to Dorian. And also, get a hold of Dorian. We're introduced. We're interested in going to an ayahuasca thing with him to be filmed. <laughs> and it'll be a great experience in meeting a bodybuilding legend and a gentleman who speaks the truth and finds out for himself and is not afraid to make a statement. Lenny, I think you should take a trip to Europe and go visit the Holocaust Memorial. I'd be, I'd be arrested. I would be in jail for nine. What would you days. do? I would look at it and point out, this is, you know, this is the, these are the trees. Actually, I think it's in Israel, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's in Germany or Israel. I think it's, it's in Auschwitz, Poland. It's still there. Okay, and I think there's also one in Israel, if I'm not mistaken. How'd it get in Israel? <laughs> I, I think there's one in Israel. I could be wrong. How could there be one in Israel? Holocaust Memorial? Yeah, oh, Who lives in Israel? Course. Jews. Palestinians. <laughs> Jews. Isn't Dorian Yates also a dancing queen? Didn't, wasn't he in the nightclubs on the Molly with the, with the, with the fishnet shirt? shirt? And that's what we would get along really well. Too, right? What would you do with the Holocaust Memorial? I would just say, you know, this is all well and good, but it's cookie cutter. <laughs> this is all well and good, but it's cookie <laughs> cutter. Maybe yeah, they yeah, could show yeah. pictures on the wall. Yeah, I'm sorry. They died of typhus. <laughs> but you know what else I'd say? What about those Mesoamerican soldiers who had beef meat cut off their backs and dumped in a ditch by the Japs? You know, they, they, you're in a, you're in a internment camp. In there wasn't, you know, they were safe here, the Italians and Japanese, because this country was never invaded. But when you're in Europe, you're in bombs flying, troops coming in, you know, martial law. These citizens were protected being in isolation. You know, I bet they were hearing news about the German invasion of Russia, and they're probably like, I'm glad I'm glad I'm here, whatever. And, you know, they were making armaments for Germany. They were supporting the German cause. They weren't they weren't the subhumans they were spoke about. They just said that they had a ballot element in them, and they were smart. Just like after 9-11, how many American citizens would have mind if they said after that, all Arab-descended recent immigrants were going to put in a camp? You know, people would have, would have, I would have felt safer. And that's the right thing to do to protect your country. Not let them run amok, but <laughs> this type of farce has got to stop. Because nobody's against Jews. Nobody hates Jews, but that's how you make people hate. That's how you make people help hate black right, lives matter. That's how you hate people. People hate gays because they're coming to the average citizen and saying, I deserve special rights for what I've been through. And they're getting them. And they're getting money off of things that didn't happen. It says in the Ten Commandments, do not, one of the Ten Commandments, do not bear false witness against thy neighbor. That's what I did yesterday with Andrew. And I obviously apologize for that. You didn't say that. I assumed you said, and that's what that means. And how did he feel? Right. And how would you feel? So I'm glad he just rightfully right, you know, looked at me in communication. He could have blew it to another level, and he didn't. Wait, what are we talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> they don't stink, don't worry. What is this, a Freudian slip? That's what slip? they all say. <laughs> I would know if, my, if I was rotten. That shit went right through me. God damn. You didn't get any gas from that fucking state? What, your fart? Yeah, man. No. You know what makes me fart like a bastard are those Lenny and Larry yeah, cookies. Yeah. Those yeah. are disgusting, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What? The Larry and Lenny cookies that they sell at every fucking juice bar. They're using my name for cookies? <laughs> <laughs> they got a lawsuit in Penny. I Don't you, right? I Do not it, buy them. No, I thought no. it was just karma for me stealing them from work. but Because they, <laughs> <laughs> they look good. All the, you know, the yeah, shit, and they taste like the pretty good, too. Bars. They're not bad. Yeah, yeah. Guess what the basic ingredient the is? Sugar, alcohol, glycerol. Wow. Yeah, I believe it. That gives you gas out the you know what. The protein bars don't give me gas. Like, those fucking cookies are awful. Jesus Christ. Why do you yeah. keep sucking them down, Brad? I don't. I stopped. Okay. After I figured out that's what was doing it. Yeah. All day. Yeah, yeah man. See what I told you? That ass rubbing ain't going to give you gas. That's You're right. probably going to get good probiotic bacteria from that. Oh, yeah. So any of you maniacs with the fetish like farting women, feed her some Lenny and Larry's cookies. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Actually, feed. Actually, you should bring that to the goddess next yeah, time. Yeah. Actually, bring, some of those bring Lenny and Larry's cookies Say, to look, the gas I have my own brand. Yeah. <laughs> Should believe it. Hand them out to the strippers when you go there? Yeah. I got some cookies for you, girls. I always tell them that. Get the over fart. here. You like that? You like when they fart in your face? Has to be a big, round-ass, big black ass. Big and round. And Lenny, thick. Lenny, what are your thoughts on UFO sightings and people's claims of being abducted by extraterrestrials? He's been abducted a few times. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> they impregnated him. No, it's just going to pop out of that fucking thing. Probably a drunken rant or something on a psychedelic trip of some sort. Uh, or it could be the U.S. government. You know, they do things like that. Maybe foreign governments, militaries. I mean, there's weapons that there's there are currently have that would blow people's minds that YouTube and the dark web doesn't mean top, top secret.
top secret stuff that obviously in 10 or 20 you'll hear about in a blower. As far as other, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely think it's possible, but. Do you think there's other life out there in the galaxy or the universe, whatever? I got an interesting question for everybody, regardless of their belief. Does life on other planets, if that were true, would it make believing in a god or creator versus being an atheist, would it sway someone towards one or the other? Yeah. I believe there. I believe there's other life out there. There's got to be. If the fucking never ends out. You don't think there's any you life on there's a any God other out, planet? Do you believe there's a God out there? No. That's very interesting to me, Brad. I just. I also find that kind of a very hypocritical, uneducated, oh here we go, egotistical thing for you to say. Why? You believe there's You're life. You're scared to say there's it. Gotta talked, be, there's got to be. There's got to be life you out there. You don't fucking believe it either. But there can't be a god or a creator. No, it's just that's that, about it's the just, statement it's of the just, year. It's just common there's sense. There's got to be. It's, no, it's not. Yes, it is. He said he didn't say there isn't one. He just he said it doesn't. He believe, just did. He doesn't believe in one. Right. I, I don't know did. if there is or if there isn't, but I don't think there is. But you think there's other life? Yeah, on another on another planet out there. That's somewhere? a commie. Sure. sure. That's a commie answer. Some kind there's of life. other I life. Think, I don't think they're exactly just like, us, like you. But... The postman, intergalactic postman, oh, for fuck's sake, with no creativity, is gonna. Who's gonna make it all there, Mister Common Sense? I don't really give a fuck. An intergalactic postman <laughs> <laughs> out of the first Star Wars movies at the yeah, bar. I watch too with much. With the of gals. That. <laughs> That's a dumb statement. But no creative like ability whatsoever. Have, uh, yeah, everything that comes out of your mouth is fucking dumb and co walking contradiction. I disagree. No, he's a smart guy. No, he is. That's a common sense statement. Bread your way off. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, you it doesn't a, make any sense. You have to a you, wholehearted whatever. belief that there's life out there. Yet I don't have a whole a creator. I just said I think it's possible. Not a chance. So you can't say I think it's possible there's a god or a creator. That's too much to ask. Look at this guy thinking. Oh, this, these thoughts must be really deep. Yeah. No. Leonard, do you have any any stories where you know how sometimes <laughs> you know how sometimes shit will happen where you think like, oh, there must be a god, or this wouldn't have happened. Anything that was too it happens, much. It happens, it happens, happens. Yeah. But to, for me to say there is not. Oh, you're so smart and you're so yeah, intelligent. You just twist my words like a motherfucker. No, you I don't think there is. I believe it when I see it. Why don't you say the same thing with these intergalactic You're right. postal aliens? That's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. That you can I hobnob I with it. in the intergalactic yeah. dope club. That's true. <laughs> I think it's a possibility. Okay. I don't think there's a possibility that there's a God controlling everything we do. I don't either. I think we get free will. Okay. Controlling everything. That's what you want. Being a communist. Oh my fucking God. You want these intergalactic beings to control you. Here we go with the memes of fucking spaceships and yeah. shit. Me being sucked up into a spaceship. Fucked <laughs> sodomized by an alien. You must have been. Yeah. I like the memes that are being made of Jay with that walker. Oh my with God. a chain around his neck. I know. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Some of those are great. I told him everybody wanted to see him in the walker. He needs to be one with the walker and a leather helmet and a Michigan outfit. <laughs> Looking like Gerald Ford. You hear that? And I want a walker. You meme makers. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, President Ford. Nice to meet you. I didn't, I didn't know you were still alive. <laughs> I think Gerald Ford, he was an offensive lineman. I, think he was a, I believe he was a center or a guard. University of Michigan, maybe back in the 30s. No shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, you read any questions over there? A little bit, but... Um, Try to answer some. Nah, I mean... Most of them are kind of dumb. You want to read that Italian, the guy in Italy thing? Oh, yeah. Let me do that. So he stops fucking messaging me every day. <laughs> yeah. Now somehow he got my number. Look at his fucking phone number. Yeah. It's like 25 digits. Yeah. Just a quick reminder, mind-altering substances. My address is in Podcast 54. Mind-altering substances. <laughs> my address is... <laughs> do you, uh... What, I, you said you had you got some DMT. Where is it at? Did you try it? Yeah, I tried it. Yeah. Was it any good? I guess I didn't get to that. Yeah, it's good. I guess. So I didn't it is get real to, then. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Describe it from from how long could the kick in? What you felt? Should have told you to bring it tonight. It lasts well, like what? Twenty next minutes. Time. Twenty minutes. Then ten twenty minutes. Yeah. I, I this is what happened is mixed it with weed, so that kind of fucked it up for me. I think that's why. Yeah, yeah. Because I felt the, I don't know. You, you feel it hit you, and you're just like, holy shit, what's going on? And then... And you're not a big weed man person. No, I hate it. So, um, all yeah, of a sudden... Sure. <laughs> hated it. Sure, you hate it. You no, I, I do. If I'm drunk, it's different, but... <laughs> <laughs> Some about, like, I would recommend do it outside, because the, the plants and the trees and shit, that's what changes the most. You just kind of start to trip. 
I mean, apparently I didn't get to the, the level that um, my buddy got to, where like Joe Rogan talks about, whatever, but I, I got that, you know sometimes when you smoke weed and you talk to yourself in your head, like you need to stop doing this, start doing that, whatever, whatever. You get a lot of that. You get a lot of, um, I don't know, a lot of talking to yourself and it kind of makes a lot of shit make sense and it makes sense. But uh, I didn't get anything from it. No hallucinating my, or anything? A little bit, yeah, but nothing nothing too crazy and I was just thinking like this shit is dumb. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> so it didn't open your mind at all to anything? It um, it did. I think subconsciously, kind of. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. You didn't get to that. I didn't get. To, yeah, I didn't get to that. No, I didn't get to anything terrifying. Um. Oh, the, that dream that I told you about. I'll talk about that. But I got a lot of anxiety from it, which probably from mixing it with weed. But that night, I had crazy, crazy dreams. Yeah. The biggest one was that um, I was hooking up with this girl. We were having sex, and then her vagina turned into a demon. And I feel like that's symbolism for a lot of what's going on in my life. Attacking yeah. you or just uh, growing real grotesque? It was like a Venus flytrap. Like, like if I stuck it in, it was going to fucking... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So pussy, that's pretty, pussy is the devil. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what Get I got you to out do of doing. stupid it. shit. <laughs> right, it does. And I thought about it. It's like the drinking, the after drinking, the shit that I put on my nose. All that is starts from the want to go out and meet girls or the, the you know whatever. Yeah. Chase meet the gals. Remember what I told you last week? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I'm trying to balance that and my love for taking testosterone because that just makes you're in south florida that's not going anywhere you know right, what I mean? that's right, always going right. to be there for you yeah and doing the doing the, the new channel for lenny and stuff yesterday was the first day that like you know i, I walked down the gym i walked around places and i didn't i didn't think like oh is there any girls i could try to talk to whatever and at the end of the day i was like oh, that's kind of nice you just take some pressure off yourself yeah, yeah. right right it's kind of nice to not give a shit about them but you know, well, you see that uh, Alyssa Milano said, "Oh, they sh all women should stop giving up the pussy or some shit like a pussy strike or whatever." Really, how should I let them tweeted about that? Them. Bill Maher said it on his show too about Melania Trump. Just start, stop fucking open? Donald. Yeah. yeah, just pop. Turn it to the left. I think if they pop stop fucking us, I'm breaking. I don't think it's not locked. But they'll have more control. Because their pussy is all that power. Go ahead. That's what tan tan tens are for. Better than pussy. <laughs> yeah, I knew you wouldn't give a shit. You it's don't better. care about pussy. Actually, I gotta go out there and get something to drink. You gotta too. smoke. Go out there and blaze up, Brad. <laughs> what are you doing? I can show you. Yeah. They go out there to blaze up. Special tea in the car. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Hey. Gene. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you. We have the famous Gene that we referred to earlier. We didn't an infantryman, <laughs> an infantryman that had, did time in Afghanistan. If you could go through Correct. a quick, real quick story about what you told me about the sexual practices of Afghan. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. These Afghans are different than, say, Saudis, Iraqis, Iranians, and such Syrians. Right. They like the fuck little boys. Wow. Yeah. Can you <laughs> yeah. go into detail on how you yeah. discovered that? Well, unfortunately. Uh, I always thought it was just a rumor, but then I was uh, it down and around an actual chai meeting where they're drinking chai tea, and they did have a little chai boy, and when he rubbed the hand, or when the elder rubbed that little kid's hand, it was time to go. How many people in the room? Uh, they go into a separate room to bang, but there may be 20 guys, the open thing. No women at all? No women at all. So when he raised his hand, how old did you say the little chai boy was? Young. Toddler. Yeah. Human filth. Could it, could it be older than six? And what is he wearing? What is his demeanor? Is he just you know the little the little sheet? You know the, how the men dress. They got same makeup thing. on him. No, 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 no. But they do take some of those so little kids. So a six-year-old toddler around twenty Afghan men. Right. And they what's that's the guy? That's their toy. Right. He raises women, their hand. They're right. To make babies and the little boys. That's exactly what Gene told right. me yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Remember, we're not talking about Iraqis, Saudis, Syrians, Libyans. We're talking, or even Muslims, we're talking about Afghanis, Afghanis. Whoa, whoa, hold that thought. We're going to get Dale on the phone. What? I know a guy that served, too, and told me all about that shit. Yeah, it's... Rob, Dale's they beat the, the shit out of these fucking guys, <laughs> yeah. too. It's disgusting. Yeah. You, know? yeah, you ready, Rob? This is an honor, too. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Still chances on that. You got to turn that Sorry to interrupt this story, but this, is, a, this is a guy could do it that could do it. Hello, Dale. What's up? What's up, dude? Oh, not much. I'm here in state, chilling. <laughs> we can all hear chilling. you. We can all hear you. You probably are not going to be able to hear all of us. Yeah, we'll try to speak loudly. Well, you, we're, we're doing a podcast now, and for some reason, your name keeps coming up. <laughs> like always. 
What's up? Just keep bringing my name up. Well, we have Rob Zilla here. We got Lenny here, and Rob we got Gene. Oh, never Ooh. heard of her. Never heard of her. Ooh. You ever hear of the Dancing Queen? <laughs> I've heard of her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the one that looks like PJ Braun that can't really dance? I can dance, but yeah, I look like oh, PJ yeah. Braun. I look like yeah, PJ. You, 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 can, you can move. You know, you're about as good and fluent as uh, Jason Genova. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you want to play this game, Pudgy well, pro- Boy. Probably because you can't line dance. Pudgy yeah, right. Boy. Pudgy Boy. Yeah, I'm fucking uh, around. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I don't understand why you're so upset. Obviously, we're all just fucking around over here. You could have messaged me or talked to me personally. Ooh. You could have messaged me and talked to me personally. Hello? It's a two-way street, buddy. <laughs> well, I didn't think <laughs> Hello? He sounds like a fucking school teacher. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> That's right. You got to correct these young child, young children. <laughs> but anyway, how have you maniacs been doing? Things all right, I guess. Yeah, we're good. Same. Everything's how's good. Your, how's your shoulder? It's shit. I'm seeing your orthopedist again on June 14th. We're gonna pick a, a surgery date. I just have to follow. I just have to follow the protocol. So you know, you have to follow a certain protocol, a conservative one, so insurance will cover it. You can't just jump right into surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, What's crazy is in three weeks, my uh, my we, first here we shoulder go. surgery here in my here left we go. arm. It's all about has him. been a year. Uh huh. Yeah. It has oh. been a whole year, so I have so to predictable. follow up that, see how everything goes. Pretty neat. It's good. <laughs> Sounds like a way out, Dale. No way. Way out of what? Lenny. Yeah. Lenny, I'm not the one that, I'm not the one that said, hey, I don't want to do the room because I want to get bigger. Come up here to North Carolina. I switched plans and went to, we're going to do a show in Charlotte. Okay. You come on up here and. We'll, we'll see how it's done. It's the end of October. And where I'm going to stay. You know, I, if I stay at that home with that woman, I will personally chain myself naked and use up all my posing oil on myself to her basement, the pipes in her basement. And I, will, I, I won't be anywhere but there for, hopefully, so, for so years. what you're saying is, what you're saying is, you're, you're going to go in the basement and kiss an empty Mountain Dew bottle. You're going to pull a Dale Chance move. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Freudian slip, Dale. You've been there and done that. You just said well, at least you're honest. Dumb shit. Let, let's put it this way. Everybody that plays video games, I guarantee you, one point in time, somebody's kissed in the empty Mountain Dew bottle. You play I video mean, games? That's another Freudian slip. Guess who doesn't? I don't play video games, Dale. No, I, I, played, I played video games when I was a child. I don't play video games. Well, couple years ago then okay good enough well we'll we'll discuss this further in the meantime i'm growing so oh okay and i suggest you do the same i strongly suggest it because we don't want to start getting you into the kentucky derby too we got i got another early entrant forget the nationals i'm talking kentucky derby for him for the jockey (laughs) <laughs> and don't get a Venus flytrap, Flint. That thing will scoop him up and spit him out. He's getting well, so he, small. He's talking about your new idol, the Samurai Kid. Samurai, yeah, Samurai, Samurai Jack. Yeah. yeah, that kid, man. He went to he went to there nationals. Out of twenty nine people, he got third. His first ever nationals. Third. Who cares? Third. You're a fucking <laughs> jinx, Dale. That's what happens when he hangs out with you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking third. You can't win, Dale. Jesus yeah, Christ. I guess so. I guess well, so. well, it's guys like him and turd. That's what male bikinis for. <laughs> now they're getting small guys in bottom. I don't get it. What are they trying no, to no, no, reduce no. the male population bikini. of the world? Go ahead. The size. Is it male bikini in that Jack Stein and uh, the bedroom bullies era? Don't they want to do male bikini? Male bikini. You talking about male chancy bikini? <laughs> no, 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 no. You said male bikini. Even though, male you, bikini. Even though you guys are the ones wearing the half bikini up there, I don't even what the fuck you're yeah, saying. Yeah, to show off our glute development. <laughs> And Dale, with his stuffed pants, shows off his penis development. Because <laughs> I hope that ain't well, real. Lenny is still dreaming about sucking your dick, Dale. No. Ever since that show. No. I, I, I'm telling you, sometimes I really think that that's, that's the whole turn of the motive. Sometimes I think you'd be have a good porn career if I was gonna, gonna like hung like you. Or something. <laughs> kind of scary. Kind of scary. I guess they don't make porn in that Bible belt that you live in. No, no. We have hillbilly. It's like animal porn, isn't it? Isn't it like... The guys, you the said it. Is that a Freudian <laughs> slip, Dale? You and, said it. Bestiality. Yeah, isn't that what Jay was saying? That, that up here we do goats and stuff like that. Well, he said he's he said he's on his way to fuck your wife the other day. Rob said you yeah, do. I, 
<laughs> he said he did say that. I, I tell you what, my wife, she's actually sitting right here. She said, I wish he would show up here. She said, you don't have to worry about his boss being torn. You have to fix the hole in his head. <laughs> <laughs> in his head. <laughs> <laughs> said she said she's a, she's a southern girl. She knows how to shoot. Uh-oh. And she said, that'd be one of the worst mistakes he ever made. She said, you don't have to worry about it, babe. I'll take care of him. <laughs> you, you definitely we know you have one is an you know elephant gun <laughs> annie oakley over there huh I, I said i said what i said to him was or to her i said well it doesn't matter i said what's he gonna do come up here like forrest gum he's gonna start running his braces are gonna break off <laughs> <laughs> so the wheels on the walker are gonna break off all of a sudden somebody's gonna be yelling in the back run baby run <laughs> he's going to look up and his, his place is going to come off and he's going to, everywhere he went from now on, he was running. Call 911, <laughs> call 911 again. <laughs> oh, you know, and, and while shit. we're on the podcast, I'll say this. Out of the hundreds and hundreds of videos that he'd done about me when I got in my accident he and everything with yeah, Blackstone, <laughs> I say one chain to Andrew Calor. He gets so butt hurt and goes on a tariff. I mean, I'm like, Jay, how, how long have I been living in your head? How much money do I owe you? I, I'm pretty sure your GoFundMe, I can pay it off with what I owe you from living in your head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's sad that he's a 50-year-old man, and every day he wakes up, he has to say something about me and my meal plan, and I'm like, Jay, get a life, dude. Grow up. No, oh, he, en- he envies you. That's out of jealousy. That's why Lenny talks about you. He, Lenny wishes he had your life, too. The strength, the family so, life. Yeah, you do. No, it's, it, you, the wife. It, yeah, the, the chance of state. I mean, hell. That's that's why that's oh, directed right. at you. That's what you know. Uh, who has? According to Rob, according to Rob Zilla, though, my uh, my wife's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would that even bother you? Your wife's like a hundred pounds soaking wet. That that. Oh, and you know, I've never that seen her. Fucking bother you. That's oh, what? it don't bother me. No, no. The funny part was the everybody, the trolls that messaged me. It's like, can you believe what this jackass said? I'm like, dude, it, it doesn't <laughs> matter. He don't know my wife, and he was just playing around. Just let it go. They're more upset about it than we are. Oh, we thank were laughing you, yeah. about it. I was like, <laughs> why? Why does this even matter? Y'all are more worried about it than me. Who's y'all? Oh, the that trolls. Yeah, come on, you know how the senators talk, y'all. The trolls. I know how those porch monkeys talk too, and it sounds eerily similar. That's that's who we be. That's how they talk. Who we be? I'm good. I'm good. So when's I'm fitting to get me some? When when is this? When's the show up there that you want to do in Charlotte? What did you get the date yet? The last the last week before October. I'll find out. The last week before October. What in the fuck? Well, guess what, Dale? December? That's when the Truby is, the last week before October. No, no, in October, not before October. The last week in October. Okay. The last oh, week, wait. the last weekend, or? Uh, I think it's that Saturday. I'll have to, I'll have to get the date. I'll, I'll look it up and I'll send it to you. Yeah, we need to make arrangements if we're going to make this happen. And Brad's son's got yeah. a birthday. Well, and another thing, too, so, you know, Lenny, if you come up after after the show that Sunday or, or Friday, whatever, you want to pump up, we'll go up to Cornelius' gym. We'll make a whole big old thing about it and have a I want to make a whole board. big old thing with his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, you know. Will she let, will she let us stay at her house? Well, she let him stay. I don't know. We could always ask her. I don't know if Cornelius would really. Imagine, here, but. Can Big Lenny he stay at your Cornelius house? Cornelius won't give a shit. Can he, Big Lenny stay at your house? That'd be a great question. I think Lenny wants to stay at Cornelius' house, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, yeah, he, I don't know. He might. You might have you might have a thing for Cornelius, too. You know, you, he is from Tennessee. Yeah, Nazi Ireland, porn. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me ask you all a question while we're talking about this. So if y'all, if you decide to come up and do the uh, do the show, I and mean, Jason coming with you, what's the name? What's the, the name of the sh- What's the name of the show? It's the, um, the Third Mid-Atlantic Place Classic. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> the third Place Classic. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's very funny is well, the last time I competed in 2017, I did get third place in that show. Wow! <laughs> I went third, first, and third. I'm like, what the heck? I can't wait for. Well, we're surprised. Was I surprised? Yeah, I was surprised. Well, if you I'm came not, in third, Dale, it must have been a real shit show. You say, did you ask if Jason was coming with us? I, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, because you know, every time me and Lenny talked about doing a Ruby, Jason was retiring. I'm retiring, bro. The drugs, the hormone, and everything. And, then all of a sudden, <laughs> and I'm, I'm training for the Ruby, and he keeps showing the same picture. And he's like, "I'm getting lean," and I'm like, "Jason, your spare tire is still as big as it was." Well, once he finds out you guys aren't doing it this year, he's not going to do it either. Right. Right. How far is the drive to North Carolina? To Charlotte? To you. It's, it's, oh, it's it's easier to fair, it's easier hours. it's but, easier to fly. Yeah, yeah. But he's asking about Jason. Dale, do you understand that would be a 12-hour drive? with Jason Genova? Chloroform. No, we take, if we go there, we're taking a, a flight. Still? No, no, you fly, man. Fly up yeah, only no, an hour don't drive. Flight. Yeah, driving's crazy. You should get a special discount for Jason. Dale will let us... Dale will <laughs> let, <laughs> Dale, Dale's going to let us use one of his trucks or cars or something. He's got a, he's got yeah. a ton of them. I, uh, fleet. I, 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 can, I can send the chance to states people to come get you and, and drive you up. Is it whatever you want. Yeah. You know, what do you think, Leonard? There's no backing no backing out. The challenge is issued. What do you think? Yeah. Hey, you I asked for an extra month, I, you got it. I was game to do the Ruby and then uh and then all of a sudden uh then you know, Lenny, you wanna grow, which I'm all fine with. That's great with me if you wanna grow and you wanna do a show up here, come on. That'd be great. I think yeah, it's about can. time because he's came he's come down here a couple times already. Hopefully Andrew Kalor, you can get him to come out for it. Oh, Andrew probably come on. He's I me and him were talking at the uh uh, oh, wait, hold on. Me and Meow Man, Brad. Meow Man. Oh, God. <laughs> I like it. So stupid. <laughs> we were talking at this show, and um, he's going to come up, and he's going to train legs with me and Fornelius one day. He's got to get his schedule finalized, and he was talking about wanting to come up and train, so I told him that'd be great. That'd be awesome to come up and do it. Cornelius would like that. Having uh, Andrew Kalora, he was, Cornelius was really impressed with his beach. You know, 600, I, we, we actually showed him the video. He was, dang, 650 raw. Yeah. I was impressed. And it was I don't know, it was, really, it was really cool because when I first walked up and we started talking and everything, it's like I've known him forever. And then we were asking uh, about how he looked and he just took off his clothes and started posing, man. And he's like... Give oh, me and you order. dropped right to your knees, didn't you, Dale? <laughs> yeah. no, I didn't. There was a couple people that did. There was this one guy, I mean, I wish I'd have got it on film. When he was in of there and always... Andrew was checking yeah. in, yeah. he's sitting there and he's pulling up his shirt and everything. And this one guy, he just looks over, and he just put his head down and shook his head and walked out. I was like, well, where'd that guy go? He's like, I think he's in my weight class. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so you think Andrew, Andrew looked, man, he, that was the best I ever seen him. He looked great. Maybe great he can compete in it, too, no? How far away is he from you? Uh, about 45 minutes to an hour. That's it? That oh, that's fucking close. It's like going to Miami. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he doesn't. I'm surprised he doesn't train with you guys more if he's that close. I'm surprised he was invited to Chance Estates for one of your famous banquets. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, we, we may, maybe we might do that. You know, coming up uh, January of 2019, we yeah, with the servants in procession yeah, with the silver passed, platters, the, the covered silver platters coming out in the January, tuxedos. 2019. Dale's at the head of the table. Heck I, yeah! I could just picture them. Looking like King Henry the Eighth. <laughs> you do look like him, you know. I Google that. Oh wow! Here, here comes the memes. Oh, Lenny. I think I they already send, made I one. I gotta send you some more. Uh, I gotta send you some more apparel. I need to send you. Thanks. I, I always wear the old ones to work, Jim. Yeah, I, I, I'll send you some more. I got a new shirt. I'm gonna print for Jay, and I'm gonna have the only one. And I think it's. I think it's gonna be great. I think it'll be a hit. Yeah, send me a couple. I gotta do some ditch digging. <laughs> <laughs> We got yeah, the I'm Gerald sure. Ford version coming, <laughs> Michigan. It's going to be great with the leather helmet. <laughs> <laughs> did Jay unblock you yet, or did you unblock Jay yet? You, you done with your feud with him, or what? No, I, I haven't unblocked him. I, I, on the chance of states, I have him on there. I just oh, that's just your that's that. yours too. Yeah, because it's getting screened probably twenty times with all your operators and staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the chance, yeah, the chance of state. That's mine. That's mine as well. Oh, I thought that was a uh, troll account. No, 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 that's mine. Uh, it's, I only go on there every once in a blue moon when I want to post stuff to make trolls mad at me. Especially oh, stuff about yeah, now the cat's out of the bag, you fucking it. dope. Jesus. I, I get so many people that send messages like, dude, why do you kill deer? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, why are you worried about what I do? Why don't you go worry about yourself? I mean, I'm man's not going to like the cats do. out of the bag comment, Brad. Why, why would you put a cat in a bag? <laughs> I, would. I don't know. Why don't you ask his friend the fucking samurai? <laughs> why, he's a cat bagger? <laughs> why did you put a cat in a bag? The chalky jockey what? puts cats in bags? Yeah, maybe his, I'll tell you what. His, oh, PJ, does PJ put Frankie in a bag? Lady, when did we talk? Last Thursday? Yeah. 
last Thursday, yeah, I talked to Lenny up some about Samurai Jack. That kid's 21 years old, man. Uh, imagine him. <laughs> well, I'm 18 forever. And <laughs> when I was 21 years old, I was over well over 300 pounds. Of course, I'm 6'3". Well, Lenny's 18 forever, so imagine him five years from now. We'll probably be visiting a tombstone. I said so 10 years, but it. he'll be like a local down here who had that look until he decided to get big, and they look like a, a toad after that. Is unmarketable. The, Who's that? You know what's crazy is we all say 10 John years Durante. Lenny, he's probably going to live to 115. We're all going to die well for him. Is there's going to be a doctor like this guy's a medical marvel, and Jason's going to be like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can see him doing that. All right, Dale, we're going to let you go, man. We're going to finish up. We'll pull a Jason. I'm going to let you go, bro. I'm going to let you go, bro. Let you go, bro. Click. I'm go- right, growing, I'm Brad. I'm growing. All right, good talk Find to out Dale. the dates, Dale, and yeah. get back to me. I'm growing. I'll send it to you here in a little bit. All right, man. Good night, man. Later. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Rob. <laughs> Click. Bye, Rob. Click. Yeah, yeah, you're about to say, Rob. Yeah, whatever. But you'll be the first one sporting that chance gear and they're begging me to wear it. That back and forth was uh-huh. weak. Yeah, it was. Jeez, <laughs> <Christ. laughs> well, it was a week back. Would. You could have called me, but you could have called me. What the fuck? So, Gene, what do you mind me coming back to the Afghanistan story about the uh, Saudi boy? Oh, Main Gene. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No, they actually, uh, if, if they qualify, I don't know what the qualifications are, but they'll uh, dress them up and send them on tours where there's basically, you know, the drag kid thing that was going around social media. Yes. They've been doing that in Afghanistan for a thousand fucking years already. It's, it's nothing different than that. They, they dress the little boys up. They'll come out and do little sex shows for them. It's just, you know, they're fucked up people. <laughs> they're disgusting what people. Trump, wipe them off the fucking mat. Lenny no. wants to fucking move there. No, bro. What can a sex... Uh, sorry, for when you slip, a six-year-old do in a stew for a sex show. For a, could you describe it? Did you yeah, actually no, see no, it? No, no, no. I, I've never saw it. Do, no. what, what goes on? I don't know. You can do we really want to know Geographic. the answer to that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, look, Google it. Leonard, use your imagination. Sex show. <laughs> use your imagination if you so choose to. Yeah, exactly. A six-year-old boy for no. a sex show. <laughs> They're fucked up people, Lenny. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I vision like if you know, show the little rascals having Spanky coming out and giving them a sex show, <laughs> and those that fucking hairy wears just like or I'm sorry, the hat he wears like Brad with the little helicopter and yeah. those fucking <laughs> little outfit he used to wear. Who was it? Spanky, Froggy, Buckwheat. What, who else was on there? Alfalfa. Yeah, yeah. I was always trying to make my hair like him, too. You're Spanky, yeah. You know, looks like Alfalfa. <laughs> my father was like, what the hell Who's are you froggy? doing? I was putting some kind of crease. <laughs> some, I don't know what, what it was. Automobile shit. Trying to make my hair go up like Alfalfa. Here, here, here come the memes of Lenny as Alfalfa. Yeah. Early, early days <laughs> to see as a cookie cutter. I want to be like Alfalfa. He's cool. <laughs> Darla. <laughs> there you go. What did your dad yeah. say when he caught you? No, he, I told him because he said he used to watch the show too. It's one, it's a great show, but he says you don't want to do that because that's a <laughs> yeah, it's a, a sissy sissy stuff. Speaking of, is there any possibility of um, doing a video, going to visit your father still? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't mind, but it's going to be tough on me. Where does he live? Yeah, again? last time I know, uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. He was in. Also lived in the hometown of tony atlas uh i forget where somebody messaged me about that tony atlas picture that signed picture didn't you open that up on the podcast yeah okay Thanks. yeah i like tony yeah. as a wrestler actually Great. i have something in the trunk you gotta open remind me oh. <laughs> so let's get to the italian christina connection yeah, the guy messaged me from italy this weird number came through his name's mario andrew i didn't even answer and is this brad no let me see so he lives in italy and I'm Italian, okay. I know you guys have been thinking of taking a trip to Italy for quite a while now, and I just want to let you know that if you decide to make the trip, I can have three of you stay over at my house. I live in Florence. It's quite close to Milan and also to Venice and Bologna. Quite close. Bologna. That's why, Bologna. That's why he said that, because of Christina. He knows she's in Tuscany. Where's that? Near Milan. I don't know. You got Google fucking maps. It's not far. It's Europe. I mean, you can go to France and England the same day by car, so it can't be too far. So, well, first thing, you would have to get a passport. No, I would need the full rundown where Christina works, where she lives, places she frequents, the gym she goes to, where she gets her hair and nails done, every possible contingency of where she might be, also her friends, people who know her, so we can 
get in there. Maybe I should hire a private investigator with that. McLaren could do all but that. But then you can't, yeah. you can't announce when you're going to go because then she'll make sure she's not there. Yeah, she'll <laughs> make sure she's in Guam or something. <laughs> Far away from there as possible. Yeah, she's in Liberia. <laughs> with General Buck Naked. Doing a documentary. You wouldn't even. You wouldn't care if she said you're a sick fuck. Leave me alone. No. You. You just want to make eye contact with her in person. And have her look me Basically, in the eye. That's all you want. And probably after I'll pass away. Because <laughs> I do it when I'm watching reruns of her videos on YouTube, which I watch pretty much on a semi regular day daily basis. And her pictures. Some of those pictures are just on her Instagram. What if? What if she agrees, but you have to go there chained up like Hannibal Lecter? Well, the only thing I want to <laughs> is a hug <laughs> and a hug and a kiss Rob I wouldn't want anything to go beyond it would you be able to let her go that would be a problem See, that's, <laughs> a, that's, a, that's a hug uncomfortably a long yeah. hugs yeah <laughs> like <laughs> that's all not too much to add. and you'd want to be totally sober for this of course yeah. absolutely I was totally sober watching Mystery Hunters and it worked in her case, you don't need a mining substance. She takes you to not subspace. Yeah, but she might need one. A whole level of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, if one connects, usually both connect. That's amazing that you have that much feelings for someone you've never met and just have seen on the... And no sexual that's, feelings. That's whatsoever. some creep shit. None, 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 none. No, I know, but it's just... Uh. All right, Dale just sent me a link to the show. Okay. Oh, you too. Check your phone. <sighs> right. 2019 North Carolina MPC Contest Series. The Mid-Atlantic Class. October 26th. That's when the Mel Chauncey Classic is. Same date. Oh, I think we can make that happen. That's a Saturday. Most likely. Aren't those shows usually on Saturdays? Hmm. We'll use. We'll borrow some of Jay's GoFundMe money. It's definitely doable. <laughs> it gives me June for, hey, one month of size, and that's all you're going to get, buddy. So, Buddy? Yeah, I, I got to make sure my meals and that gym time is in and heart is intense. Well, now you got a it's date. It's consistent, yeah. Now, now you got it. So you get, instead of starting your cut on June 1st, you start on July 1st. Right. Now I can be done in Yeah, absolutely. Months. Anything I just want to bring to the table now, Gene? We wish you all the best of luck. We know it's going to happen. And I know you're open to suggestions. You know, Andrew had some earlier before you came on, which is very unselfish of him. I mean, that's like, that's like, a, it's just basics. That's like it's Phil Heath giving Sean Roden last minute advice before he goes on stage. You'll perfect your own way of doing it. It's just basics with the film. So you in for the long haul? Are you going to be here or what? Yeah, we'll uh, run, drag me the piss. What about your job, your livelihood? <laughs> That's how uh, yeah, most yeah, I'm, I'm, I have a college degree, so I'm, I'm interviewing right now. But I was staying down in North Miami looking for work, and the place was an absolute shithole. What are you looking to do? What kind of work? Uh, I'm in PR. Uh, okay. So, uh, I don't know. A few people like yeah. to use our person. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, Rob. I actually uh, live with Rob, so... That's how I kind of got dragged into it. It was not my attention. Rob was like, oh, you come stay with me. Come stay with me. And uh, I, ended I didn't up put it like that. I'm going to catch shit for that. I said the other room in come my Come be place. with me, baby. No, 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 no. You know, you helped me out a lot. You know, you I said the other room is the Airbnb in my place. Contact my landlord. And that's what happened. He hit you so, with the no. come be with me, baby line? That no, you no, not like, like that. <laughs> but, you know, I don't use that. Me. My line is, are you over your brother's death yet? Can you come over? <laughs> so now we'll know if Jason was telling the truth to some of these people that you try to abuse him sexually or something. That's why you had to kick him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sure. got, Didn't he uh, say that shit? I think they and no, I think they trolled me on that. Yeah. I called him out on it when we filmed the video and he got all pissed off. Yeah, because he's gonna deny it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Whatever. So how familiar were you were you with all this shit before he moved down here? Oh, uh, I've been watching the uh, Jason for a long time. I've been watching the Maniacs for a long time, uh, all the way back when I was in the Army, so uh, 2013. So a lot of the infantry men were watching with you then? Yes, uh, I actually baby birded some Skittles uh, in a striker to another <laughs> to another soldier. Yeah, yes. With a who? With another soldier. With some Skittles. <laughs> he, he, it was Did she have a dick? It was a he, and it was a man. Ah, <laughs> hated it. Same, ah. same thing, Lenny. <laughs> no. Right. Lenny, I took one out of your playbook. And I baby no, you birded didn't. Him. I baby birded a man. Mine's going to have a dick, <laughs> oh, but it's going to have a big ass and some tits and a nice big thick lips and a nice big load. Get that protein in. <laughs> Get that protein in. <laughs> See, when you're banging your girlfriend missionary style, your body's nutrients are going out the window, Brad. <laughs> Take them in. See, it's a win-win situation, Brad. <laughs> so hey, I'll give you credit. You licked ass. You liked it. 
You'll do it again? Hey, you've discovered a new thing. I'm surprised it took that long. Flask. Oh. Cannot Can we at least get a, a, a look-see for the maniacs? Sure <laughs> oh. I'm surprised you didn't do it when you tried the trend. Well, you with somebody, right? Yeah, I got, I got you. Yes, yeah. Problem is, when he stuck his tongue in, he felt a wedding ring in that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Was it his or someone else's? <laughs> <laughs> Look how serious Lenny is. <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, He's dead serious. It's that tie that I got. Uh, so where are you from? <laughs> oh, I'm from Detroit, so uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, you yeah. should meet Emma. I got a lot of tan tan tans yeah, out there. I almost met her the other day. I heard it's great. Yeah, I, I think that video of the tranny getting shot is, is from Detroit. You know, that's a shame. And she was that was she was in Texas in French and then she went up to Detroit and she gets shot. Uh, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but I know it was on the our local. 23 movie. years old. She see the one that got stomped in Texas because she was in a car accident. Yeah. 10 uh, p.m.s took this beautiful tan 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 out of a car, stomped her up pretty bad, broke some bones in her face because of, of a traffic accident, and she had to be rescued by a bunch of girls. And Did she talk about that. Well, I'm going to write that convention. That you <laughs> yeah, did. and then. Turns out a month later, she's in Detroit. She just got shot early Saturday morning. You know, she may have had an attitude. They said she'd like to talk shit. So they just signed up for baseball. It's good, good looking, tan, 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 though. Damn good looking. I think her name was Malia. Well, I could be wrong. Don't Mike. care about the names. I care about the inches and the face and the ass. Malcolm. Like <laughs> the names, yeah, they can ruin it. Right, you have a, a bad effect on me. When I heard come to Patrick. The goddess's name. Patrick, Patrick. Walters. That Ooh. wasn't very sexually. What's the goddess's real name? Patrick Walters. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe you announced it. She wanted me to come see her down at Broward General Hospital. Wait, is the goddess Haitian or no? No, Jamaican. Okay. Patrick Just ask Walters. for Patrick Walters. Oh God, why did you say that? <laughs> it ruins the whole... Yeah. <laughs> Just like does that what, shed, let's, does let's shed a little light on just the situation. Like, I'll shed a little light on Mike T. When we were at Atomic last week, he brought a gorgeous Colombian girl with home with him. Took a look at her ID because she didn't believe her age. Pedro. Her name was right, a John <laughs> Lopez. It was John. First name John. That's about as bad as it gets. But I tell you what, though, any of you guys saw her walk in this room right now, your eyes will pop out of Did your he head. kick it out of the house? Fuck no, he fucked the living. <laughs> 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 and he wants to do it again. And he's going, she's going to sing in somewhere in Milton Manors at a club. Oh, my God. And her mother's coming with him to watch. And her mother's, like, in her early 40s. And she's hot, too. So good for him. John and Patrick. Holy shit. Patrick and John. Are you go Have you been down to Milton Manors? Yes, I played the ten, ten, ten. Actually, the day I found out my grandmother. That's died. where you got to take Robzilla down to Wilton Manors for one of them well, shows. I tell you what, if people want to see the most disgusting place I've ever read about was the Ramrod. <laughs> if that could be taped, some kind of filth that goes on in there. <laughs> the Ramrod. <laughs> First of all, you got all guys looking like Dale Chance, beards, muscles, powerlifter types wearing leather, grabbing each other's dick, fingering each other inside the club, tying each other up, beating them. Probably everything under the sun, and the reviewer says the plague reeks of testosterone. <laughs> so you're gonna wear your leather down to Wilton I'm Manors? I'm not going to that place. I'd have to really. I mean, I'd, seriously, take a guy like me, been all them trannies. I would that stuff with enthuse vomiting. I mean, I'm being honest, but it would be funny if we had the balls to go in there. I'm up for anything. Like somebody touched you. Do there it. you go. Yeah. Blast them with so much testosterone. But what about yeah. you? You're willing to go really, film that I shit? Really <laughs> it's just one of those things there. you have yeah. to see. What the fuck's going on in there? Like me, I can say I know what a black club is. I've been there, paradise. And I can make a basic, you know, it's another thing. I, people, and me included, number one offender, making comments about people you don't know, live walking in their shoes, living their lifestyle, seeing what it's like. You know, you got to experience that first before you can make any type of determination. So you do it more out of curiosity than perversion. Exactly. Oh, it's perversion. Your life experience, whatever you want to call it. Yes. Everyone likes curiosity. I'm curious to look up that thing on the, about the Afghan. Afghan. I think uh, National Geographic did it. Oh, you got one right here. <laughs> <laughs> Send Big Rob over there in a what white jeep. Yeah, right. Dance around for him. 
How many kills did you have, would you say? Uh, it's possible, but you shot ammunition into yeah. a faceless crowd. Yeah, not in the crowd. That what was that you told me the other day when they said you're 18, you got to do what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was a saw gunner. They just went down the line a and said... Saga? A, a saw gunner? A saw gunner. I uh, wasn't saw like, gunner. I didn't have an M4 or anything like yeah. that. I carried an M249. Yeah. And they went down the line. We had a bunch of new guys show up at the unit. And they said, uh, you know, who, where's the 18-year-olds at? And I, I, I raised my hand. I, I would have raised there. my hand, too. And they said, uh, <laughs> okay, here you go. You're a saw gunner. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. So that's a high risk. Yeah. I, well, Good you know, luck. That's real if, nice. If you, if you look at uh, like the other gunners and stuff like that, 240 Bravo gunners, uh, actually another guy carries their ammo because they set it up as a team. One one guy will be feeding ammunition belts to another, but a saw gunner holds all that himself, and they, he switches out those drums like a magazine. So you get kind of fucked because you have to carry all your own ammo, too. You have no gun team. It's just you. You're just a... Um, and it's hot, huh? Yeah, it's all worse. It's cold in Afghanistan. At cold as fuck. Frostbite on my toes and garbage. At night, hours. though. No, during the day, too. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I forgot about that. It's I'm cold thinking, as fuck. I'm thinking, yeah, you're in a fucking. And yeah. you're coming from Detroit. Yeah. It's fucking. Yeah, very cold. Mostly the wind. So you're well really prepared. Hard. Like a yeah. fucking frostbite. How prepared could you fucking yeah. yeah, no, I wasn't really that prepared. This kind of more dumb than anything. So you're out there and it's like, this fucking sucks. Yeah, moments. basically. You huddle around a little crank you're BBC stuck. radio. What are you going to do? Go run off into the mountains and hopefully catch a bus home? Yeah, like Bergdahl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just leave. He's going to watch Jason yeah. Genova videos on YouTube. Do. Yeah, correct. So did you have to huddle with other men to keep warm? And no, alive? no. Yes, you did. No, not, nothing like that. <laughs> the the truck sky heaters, we were in a strike. When they were freezing in Russia, those German soldiers were huddling up they, naked. You know, they post. probably didn't have they uh, had to. the strikers and the generator generators hooked up to every tent with the uh, AC and heating. Every tent has a So AC the 18 year olds, oh, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Or they'll just look down on you, fuck with you. It's funny, you go back home and they won't even let you vote. <laughs> after going How old are you now? Uh, 25, almost 26. And when did you get back? Uh, I got out in 2014, so it was a while ago. I, I went in typical story right after high school, so it's you been a while You wanted to change now. the world. No, I just wanted to get the fuck out of Michigan. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if, you're, if you're willing to go to Afghanistan to get yeah. out of Michigan, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it well, yeah. before that, I was carrying rocks around this place called the Rock Shop. It was a landscape supply company. I had to wake up every morning and either carry these rocks around or uh, suck water yeah. out of these, you know, <laughs> algae-filled fountains that were, were getting ready to freeze for the winter. It was just disgusting. And just think, the porch monkeys in their hayrid are carrying rocks of crack cocaine, much lighter, more profitable, <laughs> and the hood boogers are sucking cock much easier and more profitable. And look what you're doing. You're yeah. And also, you're paying your tax money at doing that. To subsidize them because they're also getting that on the side. That's their side hustle. What do you think of Delray Beach? Oh, I like it uh, compared to where I was down in North Miami. It's fucking heaven. It's like it's like Beverly Hills, but uh, yeah, yeah I like it. No, it was a shit show where I was at. Absolute shit show. Delray Beach has come a long way. I mean, I, since I moved here anyway, everyone called it Delray Beach because there was nothing to do here. And then they they totally rebuilt downtown Delray, Atlantic Avenue. So where come. all the gals are, these gals, you got to come see them. Come along, the gals way. down here. Actually, that's what's his face who brought me down that one night with the gals. Chris, yeah, that's who I. That's who he's directed at. How long have you been here? Uh, since the eleventh. So only only a little while. Two weeks. Right. You know, strangely enough, I haven't met Jason yet, but I've met McLeod, the modern day Winston Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> He actually gave it there, and he's much more honorable than Winston Churchill. I've been digging up dirt on him. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler referred to Winston Churchill simply as the drunk. Lenny, I was going to ask you something about, did you know uh, the Henry Ford Hitler bromance? Where they uh, used to write very letters? Very familiar with it. Uh, it's very pretty interesting stuff it. if you want to look it yeah, up. Hitler, anyways. Charles Lindbergh. Although Brad's eye or Alistair Crowley didn't get too far when he <laughs> sent him letters, he's told his brains would be scattered all over in a very polite way. Though <laughs> he has no interest in your kind. <laughs> Don't worry, Hamburg will be here in a couple of weeks. He'll show you around Delray. He knows the Bruise room, Bruise room, and Bruise room, secret surprise, Bruise room, paradise. <laughs> Where is Hamburg from? Sweden or Hamburg from Norway? Sweden. Oh, okay. Big difference from what I hear. It's practically a Muslim country Actually, he's now. from yeah. Kachistan. Kramberg, you will be surprised. <laughs> he comes over wearing the robes and such. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me at all. What was that, Brad? My stomach's gone. That burger, I don't know. What did, I don't you, know, what did you put? Doing it to did me. you put some laxatives? I think it's your it? rectum, so he wants to be filled. Uh, I took a shit before <laughs> I got here, too. I'm not man. talking about that. 
Some postman meets. <laughs> you know you guys are doing it on your breaks. What are you talking You're about? You're pumping each other all over the place. <laughs> Is that your fantasy, Leonard? No, it's what, no I'm just saying yeah. that's what you guys do. That's what you Why guys are you so do? concerned about what I do at work? What do you do at work? You just admit it. <laughs> what do you, do, it? What do, you do at work besides drink out of a fucking dog bowl, you asshole? <laughs> Lou, can I get you anything else? Lou, 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 Louie, Lou. I can even bark for you, Louie. If somebody's coming, don't worry, I'll get the door. What the fuck? What do you do at work all day? He's actually you, bottling up some of the, the best supplements. Lots of bottling. Yeah, lots, lots of sealing. Lots of labeling. One for me, one for you. One for me. One I actually have you. a question about about. You got to taste what, everything, what's right? The dissol- what are, like uh, the what's bartenders this? do. They put the straw in the drink, and then they... A little bit. No, no, no. <laughs> what's the solvent? What's solvent? No, that's already done. That's done some... Oh, okay, gotcha. It comes in gallons and something bottled up. But... Oh, gotcha, okay. I mean, you could get a machine for that, but hey. You you're, the, you're the machine. I'm sure you. I'm sure you're one of the fastest workers there. I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you always wanted to wear a leash. It's okay. We know that is true. I want to wear it in South Carolina too. <laughs> well, what is what is her name? I forgot her name. Goddess, the blonde goddess, <coughs> the blonde bomber. Totally spaced. I'm, you don't remember what Cornelius is that? Yeah, you're, you're pretty good at name. Remember names. I'm good at bodies, lips. <laughs> Genitals. <laughs> Testicles. Eyes. Yeah, exactly. I can touch them without hurting them. Trust me. Remember a lot of crack whores, they touch your gen. Oh, not there. Got to be real gentle, Brad. What like would you do? Because you have some, you know. What would you do if Cornelius' ex came out with a big strap on him? I'd bend over real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I had a mirror so I could look at her face while she's doing it. <laughs> a selfie stick. Ah, oh, oh. I like it. Yeah. The selfie stick. <laughs> Leonard would fucking steal all of her panties. Wouldn't need to. I'd chain myself. That'd be part of the foundation of that house. You'd never leave, huh? Just like the song Toy Line. Once you pass his 40s, you will never leave again. <laughs> <laughs> Once she passes my borders with the strap on, I will never leave again. As I really should say... Come um, on, what's the rest of the song? Encore, Lenny, encore. <laughs> Once she passes my borders, I will never leave again. Can we see some... <laughs> I like some dancing while I do a big rob. No, Come no, on, no, dancing no. queen. Let's see what you got. Give me give me about six shots of tequila and I'll dance. Otherwise, Start beatboxing, Leonard, and he'll dance. Never heard of it. <laughs> Obviously, you have. You're a fan of it. You said it. Freudian slip. You had one in your garage. <laughs> You begged for it for Christmas. You finally got it the second year. Pump you really, you really don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things. They have a fucking record player, and they spin it around and make music with them. Wrong. All right, Lenny, here's a, a lifting question. You guys are always talking about how impressive lifts. How about this guy's always benched 225 for reps. How about Bruno Sammartino did 335 <clears throat> for 38 reps? 110% drug-free. Fake weights. It's not recorded, but I know for a fact he did it. Diana Ball was invented. Everybody used it. End of story. He showed at one point. Where'd he get all that water tension from? All that pasta he ate? I don't think so. He was a clean living guy. He wouldn't go. Believe it or not, Bruno never went to any nightclub as a wrestler. And he was the he was it in Madison Square Garden because of the Italian. Back then, they looked up to him like the Puerto Rican champions at the time. You insulted them. They'd wait outside the arena with a knife for the opposing wrestler. They took it seriously. Well, Bruno was a Cleveland, and he was using Diana Ball. That's a fact. Would he bu- <laughs> Not see- his whole career, but you could see when he was using it. And he looked the part. What do you think about C.T. Fletcher saying he never used anything? He did. He said it. He did use it. He admitted it. I saw a video on it the other day, but it's nothing great. You know, just a regular old porch monkey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. With some kind of genetics, you know. I mean, it's not the genetics. They eat the right foods. Well, as Irving the Black Club, I mean, a lot of those girls eat. There's a lot of chicken, a lot of rice, a lot of beans on his plates, a lot of macaroni and cheese. I mean, there's a lot of protein in just macaroni and cheese and red chicken with it. So the fats are there and the protein and the carbs are there. It's mean calories to say we're getting big. You eat high everything. These people... The problem with most whites, especially girls with no ass, is it's not genetics. It's the way they're brought up. Some of them are into veganism, the worst thing you could do for a body. 
Second, a lot of them were into the low-fat craze of the 80s, which was supposedly healthy. Everyone was doing that, even removing fat out of baby food. And guess what? You need those fats to grow, recuperate, to develop your brain. That's why you see a lot of whack jobs. People talk about over-medication. No, it's the medication Lack because they're a whack job from not starting off with the essential fats, <clears throat> which is your brain is actually mostly fats. You got to eat those fats. That's a, that's a fact. In fact, in Africa, starving Africa, they came up with a solution where they could feed everybody was type of a meal, like a ground type of bread mixed with some type of protein source. Funny thing is, the kids weren't growing that much until they added fats to that mixture in the form of cream. Then people started growing taller, bigger. Look at the average Asian. You see the size of them. They don't look... They all used to look the same. Thailand back in the 60s. China, because they were on a rice diet predominantly, a little fish in it, very little protein. Now when they're eating things like McDonald's and more protein foods, they're growing taller and bigger. It's that's literally that simple. But the, the Caribbean countries, for one thing, they know how to eat. And that's where they get the bodies. That's where they get the tall heights at, the seven footers. I mean, even in this country, a lot of crack babies that were starving, there's plenty of stories on YouTube. They're five feet tall at 19 years old. You sort of getting enough fatter protein. Mm -hmm. Fatter protein is where it's at, folks, from day one till the day you die. And I'm talking about the natural good fats of the different balances. People say all omega 3s. No, you need a saturated animal fat as well. You need fish fat. The fat in beef, that's going to help you as well. Everything has a purpose. These, this fat limiting craze in the 70s and 80s really screwed people Very good, Leonard. It's nutritional advice. Common sense, specific. Yeah. Nothing nobody said before, but. I'm stressing the importance of it more than others. All right. You want to do any more questions here? <clears throat> I'm checked out. I got to eat. Uh, da -da. I got the perfect cup. Okay. I heard it at the club. I said, what? Listen, I heard it at the oh, club. Oh, wait. I'll, I'll play it. Once you hear it, you'll yeah, win you it can in sing, seconds. Sing along. Do you know it, Brad? I heard it at the club. Do you know who sings it? Andrew, you'll know it in a second. All right. All right. So any, anything else you want to get to? Again, Christina, <laughs> I love you. I hope to come see you. That would be my dream come true. And thank you, fan from Italy, for the Delray Misfits gear. Coming out with new shirts, plenty in stock. Get a lot of comments about them. People love them. I get stuff all the time. Buy Research Liquids. We had a fan on here. Hopefully he's on the MK677. Every fan should be on the MK677. Of course, I'll be, after this, I'll be balling out my ass, but I don't mind. <laughs> so they'll get you tell them big lenny sent you new world nutritionals the finest protein no demand no stomach upset the finest liver cleaner no demand and book cameo they're great they're phenomenal you get a personalized message from me and even if you want it we had a pg-13 rating when he got it it was all you want PG me to play you know i have that in my phone you want me to play it i was fucking sure. cracking up today you were good it's man. nothing i wouldn't have said at 13 and brad said things like that at eight so i was i was on my <laughs> he's such Dude. a fucker man let's see which one it is I want to wish you a girlfriend. Correction, girlfriend. This was a long... Oh, and I'd like to thank Gene and obviously Rob Zilla for the great addition to this Misfits family. And I think everyone's in approval with this table, correct? Yeah, I think we, we squashed all the bullshit nonsense. You know what I like about around. Andrew gave everybody Nobody. a trial. I want to apologize on him because okay. he didn't say that. I came to the conclusion he said it. That's bearing false witness against our neighbor. That's fake news. So we're all Never assume. Like I said, always yeah, fact check. And what did you do? You got on the phone to him and he's like... And everybody's going to be in the videos. You All you're going to do is communicate. That's it, man. Andrew can show if up you to never, the gym without the pressure to have... And be problems. specific. Yeah, right. Yeah. Be specific. Specific. Yeah. So that's that. Never trust the slogans, hope and change. Okay. Power to the people. Yeah. Never, was always be specific. Yeah. 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 We all work together, man. It's all fun. That sounds yeah. a little too communistic to me. It's all fun. Working together, <laughs> sharing, share alike. Yeah. 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 This land together, is your man. land. This land is my land. Like hell it is. You didn't fight for it. This guy did. He there should go, go wherever he wants. Any video ideas or any questions you want asked to Leonard, direct message me. Yeah, direct message you, Leonard. Especially Spe sexual problems and per perversions. I can explain them to you <clears> and <throat> giving you a regret of what you're feeling and why you're feeling those feelings. Like, like what? Anything, any type of sexual thing that you think, hey, is this right? Should I be doing this? Wait, you would think a once a week sex advice column on, on, a, on a channel? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Or not, yeah. It'd be pretty good.